rolling. Oh, man, we live. He don't got us up here. We live. Oh, man, D looked like he warm. <laughs> he got the what you call it? The chuck, the 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 the, the lump, the, ch- the lumberjack. No, the lumberjack. He got the lumberjack hat with the hat to match. You know, he came war ready. My guy, my brother got the the camo on. We got special guests in here tonight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be a vibe. You know, we got my sister Ruby. Y'all look like y'all matched this together. Y'all did this. We coordinated. Y'all coordinated right. today. Coordinated. I love when a good plan Back comes together. The Back row coordinated. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. Bunch of neutral color. All right, let's love get it. Mike, 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 Greetings and salutations by this hood. You know the type of time, the type of time we're going to be on tonight. Um, welcome, everybody, to another episode of Live on Broadway Podcast, where the situations matter more than the relationships. Perspectives uh-huh. will be respected by everybody. This, is going, this one is going to be one of those. Trust me. If you haven't tapped in with us on Instagram, Live on Broadway Podcast, follow your host, I am underscore Broadway on Instagram. Uh, make sure you guys tap in and get acquainted to where we're filming out of, Vanilla Skies, JC on Instagram. Hello. Make sure you guys tap in and get acquainted to, to us on YouTube, Broadway the Giant, or simply tap in Live on Broadway Podcast on YouTube. If you guys are listening to us Listening to us on Clubhouse, make sure you guys scroll up to the top, hit that link, and hit that like button. So Show your social currency by um, doing the small things. You know, too many small things add up and become big things. So um, greetings and salutations to you all. I got a shout out and salute to the room. Round of applause for the room. Yeah. We got special guests. I'm trying to see how long this hook wants to... I'm, you know, I'm going to take it off for now, because I feel like it's kind of a safe space for now. You know, once it starts <laughs> panicking in here, then we're going to know, Nas. Um, let's talk about it, though. Um, we got my guy DWI in the room. Hello. Yo. We got Lala. I mean, no, no, no. Not too much on Lala. Not too much on Lala. Chill, 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 chill. chill. <laughs> we got my sister, Rubes. His Mrs. Your, wi- your wishes? Just call me the wild card. The wild card the wild factor. Card. Thank you. The wild card is the <laughs> We got my guy would love Jay Gray in the room. Yes, you hear me? We got my guy sincere on Instagram. Yeah, we got Storm Penny. We got my guy Darius DMV checking in. We got Taj. Listen, we got my guy Nas behind the boards. What's happening with yeah. it, my guy? You know, we here to panic the night skate. I see you. Um. I'm trying to expedite the intro because there's going to be a lot of talking and a lot of chaos. Huh. Organized confusion, of course. Um, D, how you feel, man? Laid back like the Mac, your army suit? Yo, I feel good. I, like I was saying earlier, I was up since, I don't know, like five, six, ready to get to it. Because I went. I, I, I told you what I was about to do yesterday. I laid down and got low and stayed low and kept firing. Woke up this morning, mm. ready to go. Yeah. Uh-uh. Took a little ten minute, ten, ten minute ride to the office in the rain. Felt really great about being on Wall Street with yeah. all the money's at. Yeah, Big yeah. Christmas tree out like yours outside. Yeah, yeah. You see this? Nah, you getting a Christmas tree now? You you see this beautiful work of art right here? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I feel like we need. You know what I was gonna do? Next year we're gonna put a train on this. We're gonna put a train and make a train go choo 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 all the way around. I got the idea. I just saw it too late. You understand me? Uh, I got the idea. It might not be too late. We might get it in the fourth quarter next week or two. But we're going to put a train around here, and it's going to go all the way around. That's going to be fire. Well, you're going to put on it. I want to be the second. I'm proud, of, I'm proud of you, bro. Wait, I feel, I'm proud of you. From, from what we should do before to now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold um, on. Um, sincere, you, your, your mic is hot, King. Just hold on. I, I got you, King. I promise you I got you. Give me one oh, second. Oh, no. Nah, only thing I was saying was I was proud of you. I was just saying I'm proud of you. 
with all the hard work and with happened with the, with the podcast oh thank you man you know we hey man we aim to please pink sapphire i see you girl um thank you beloved i appreciate that oh man how was y'all weekend man overall overall and if um um la 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 you have so listen la la listen you see you listen y'all see her on instagram listen not too much on Lala. She's a special guest tonight, D. Um, heavy <laughs> special. Um, shout out to listen. Y'all see her on Instagram. Y'all see her shaking it up on Clubhouse. If it's one thing for certain about Lala, two things for show sure is she gonna speak passionate. She listen. We did one pod. I think it was six eighteen. She was like, hold on. 616, she was like, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. She don't say hold on so much. I don't thought she was coming through the phone. So tastefully, we got Queen Lala in the room and in the building. Big energy. What's happening, Lala? I don't care about nobody else's weekend. How was yours? Getting mentally prepared for this. Yes. Oh, shit. I was so nervous. Yes. Um, <laughs> shut up, Danny. I can't, I can't with him. Today. Yo, I can't with. She's I a special guest, D. Not too much on Lala. That's right. Jesus. On Mondays, it's our side. Remember? Talk about it. Let's wake that up. Wake that up. Wake that up. Hello? D in No Limit Soldier mode. He just got <laughs> up and wake that up. up. You coming for me, and I did him in No Limit like Soldier him. mode. I, I feel like the him. cold. You still, in okay. the freezing cold, and picked him up from the train station. Look at that! Look at me. God! Look at God! Uh, we gonna save that for off camera talk. Lala, how was your weekend, <laughs> it was, please? It was good. Thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yo, Jay, you inspired the glasses because you you listen, man. I I don't know. I don't I don't know how this is gonna go. I gotta be prepared. My blue block is on tonight. This is my uh my defense mode. Yeah. De okay. So okay. We got a cap sun. I'm just. <laughs> Tonight. Got you, got you, got you. Um, so my weekend was amazing. Um, we did a lot of dope things in Vanilla Skies. Uh, make sure you tap in with Vanilla Skies, JC.com. Make sure you guys tap in. Um, we had a pop-up shop. We did our holiday pop-up shop. Hello? Hey. Yeah. That was amazing. It was amazing. Um we had so many different vendors in here. Shout out to all of the vendors. Shout out to Sasseries. They did an amazing job. Absolutely. Hello? Clear! Yeah, yeah. At facilitating the pop-up shop. That was amazing. You know, um, one of my favorite things to watch is, um, you know, growth. I love growth, right? And, and I love to tastefully watch. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to what she said. <laughs> Oh, God, why is it like this? The pop-up shop was amazing. I love growth. I love that. I love that, you know, it was our second pop-up shop. The first one was, I think, back in September or maybe August. August 26th, I think it was. And and that went well, but this one was went exceptionally better because, one, it was a holiday vibe. You know, all the vendors came out. They celebrated. They 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 had they they had they their things out. We supporting black business. We supporting small business. You know what I mean? Because it's very hard a lot of times to 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 not only get past your first year, but get past your second and third. You know. So um, this is 2023, and Sasseries is celebrating their 10th year anniversary. I believe that's so. <laughs> Big shout out to Sasseries. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sassy bracelet. Y'all can't, can't see my anklet. Y'all can't see the anklet. Ruby I no dripping. On. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So shout out, shout out to Sassery's doing amazing things. Um, um, I, I will work with them ten times over. Very professional. They, 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 they rise and rose to the occasion. All the vendors, you know, had nothing but amazing things to say about Sassery's. So I uh, make sure you guys tap in with Sassery's on Instagram. S A S S A R E S. Make sure you guys tap in. <laughs> Um, what's that? I missed the I. So S A S S A R I E S. Wake that up, bro. What are you talking about? Hello? Get that right. Um, so a lot happened. Ciara Russell Wilson. Let's jump into the let's jump into the let's jump into the fire. Um, 
<sighs> All right, I think it's a safe space. I'm just gonna keep play, peeling layers off <laughs> while it's safe because the moment it gets nervous and frantic, I'm gonna start throwing layers on. Um, Ciara Russell, Russell Wilson, let's start a round of applause off for them. They had their baby. I love it. You know, I, I love seeing black love win. You know, um, I love, I love seeing, I love seeing the the element of of togetherness. You know, we celebrate that on LOBP to um, let, um, sincere. Hello, sincere. Russell Wilson, Ciara, congratulations. Are you happy for that? Yeah, I'm happy for him. Every time there's a baby coming into the world, I'm happy for him. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Penny, are we happy for Ciara Wilson? <laughs> are we happy for Ciara well, Wilson? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? I'm not a hater now. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. What up, Storm? Um, Lala, talk to me. How you feel? I mean, so we we looking a gift horse. We're not gonna look a gift horse in the in the mouth. We're gonna celebrate it, right? I mean, I love. I think that they're the they do exceptionally, ex exceptionally, how you say uh -huh, it? Yeah. Exceptionally. Except, ex what she said, well, <laughs> at doing it the right way. Because whatever they things are, and every relationship has them, it doesn't escape me that they probably have their own stuff, but they deal with it and do it the right way. They only show us the highlights. I only want to see highlights from y'all relationship. I don't care about the bad stuff. I don't care about it. I only want to see highlights when you're a celebrity. How you feel, Queen? Well... Congratulations. I thought the baby was due on um, in February. So I was like, mm. is the baby early? But cause, Is it early? Yeah, because her post, I follow her. Right. So her post said something about, it was like 208 or something. It had something to do with Kobe Bryant. You remember that post? Right. Something like that, so, yeah. So, yeah, I was like, is the baby early? But then the baby was nine pounds. I was like, oh, she had to drop that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not? Yeah, she, she so... You know, I'm glad she had a successful labor. Yeah, um, yeah. The baby's healthy. But um, as for their highlights, um, I think that's one couple I don't mind watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I mentioned it before. It's just like I'm tired of seeing, you know, the the, the yeah. after effects. Mm -hmm. But yeah. with them, I, I don't mind it. I think that um, they, they show us black love in a very beautiful way that we mm -hmm. haven't seen since – the Cosby's or even Obama. the Obamas. <laughs> uh, was that my wife and kids? Like we don't right. we don't really have those examples anymore. Right. And so I'm I think that they do something that's very loving. They incorporate their children. Yeah. They're trying to, you know, promote generational wealth. It's just a lot of positivity, so I'm not mad at it at all. Right. Mm. Move. <laughs> Sierra Russell Wilson. I love it. I love love. Yeah. When I'm ready to love again in like 2050, 2053. She's still on her sabbatical. Okay. <laughs> I'm still what? You've been using big words lately and I like it. I, ooh, I like it. He got him a little encyclopedia for uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> he got him a little dictionary, y'all. Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. My brother's very intelligent. But no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm always here for um, real love, black love, uh, new babies. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for babies born um, out of love. Um, yeah, yeah. I only wish for it to uh, continue. And she popping them babies out left and right. So they definitely. Yeah, she she found her person, she, seemingly she so. She, she has, and I'm so happy for her because she, 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 for that she baby deserves though. it. I think everyone deserves it. I don't want to say like just she deserves it because I feel like everyone deserves their person and, and deserves their happiness. Hey, OnStar, how you doing? Um, so yeah, I'm 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 here for it. Mm -hmm. Keep the babies alive. Yeah. In the black Anything. love. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> in the in the black love. I'm just how you baby. how you feel, D? Sierra Russell Wilson. <laughs> Well, from the comments that I'm hearing, I, something good must have happened. They haven't. They expect another baby. She so. just had it. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Because no, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. We're not doing this with the pot. Stay out your phone and stay in the room, please, because we talk, we potting. <laughs> Sierra Will, Sierra Russell Wilson just had their baby. Um, that's what we talking about. D, stay on, please. D, so <laughs> not on the see, broadcast. Uh, that's what I heard. But yes. So you asked me how I feel about. I feel yes. Good how, about how, how do you feel about them welcoming their I new didn't chat? Even hear about it. So that's oh, you didn't know I'm about it. That's what I'm saying. So I wasn't. That's what I was saying. I wasn't tapped oh, in. Yeah. They okay. Just had okay. a baby girl today, I believe. So yeah, I, yeah. I always celebrate. But even any kind of birth is babies are special. That's a whole person being born. Yeah. Like we got we get political with babies are being born, but in the in the animal kingdom it's babies born and you know they grow up and they do what they do. Like we, we get so like, oh who's the father, the mother? Like it's a baby. Like forget about the parents, it's a baby. So yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah, right no, of course, do, of course, of course. When the person says they're pregnant, the first thing they do be like, who the father? All the time. We be like, girl, my little business. And, and until they find out that the father makes an X amount of dollars, then it don't matter it, as long as the baby's being taken care of. So, you know, I, that's, mm. I'm, I told you I'm on, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, <laughs> waiting for one of y'all. Well, it's, it's you and Wait for one of us, what? I, I don't know if it's enough. Mute smoke. your mic, King. We're going to bring you up. We're going to bring you up on Instagram. Mute your mic, though. Mute your mic, King, on He's Instagram. Mute your right? mic. Um, my thing is, so... <sighs> Uh, you know, no, 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 no. Before I do this, we no, we gonna we gonna stay on brand. Before wait, before we go, because it's gonna get kind of crazy. Angela Simmons, Yo Gotti, they're another one. I love their love. Yeah, they're another one. I love how you can. Yo Gotti had a crush on her. He put it in. Got a crush on Angela. Yeah, he put it in a record. She first dubbed him. You know what I mean? Said that she wouldn't do it, and then a few years later, he got her. I love it. I, I, I love that energy of saying what you want and then manifesting it, right. putting it out there. And sometimes, sometimes, and, and I understand this having an artistry background myself, sometimes women identify you by way of your persona, mm -hmm. right? And when you do that, you don't really, you block your blessings. You don't really get to know or learn the person because you hear real that give about you you hear these right. these lyrics by way of men or women and you will think that the artist mm -hmm. is really living that. Right. But you saying it because that's what you potting, right? Or, mm -hmm. or 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 you on your artist time, you trying to sell records. So I'm happy I love them. They're one of my favorite couples to watch. You know, shout out to um Angela and Yo Gotti. How you guys feel? I like it. You like it? I'm with it. Like you said, a lot. If we can end the year with a lot of black love, because can you bring the mic closer, please, sir? If we can end it with, with some good black love, because yeah. seem like the ones we have, 2023, they started good and they just everybody went down went from, down. from Cardi to Offset, the craziness lately to Pat Poos and Remy and all. This the people who was like, we was oh. making the mentor the trophy for what it is. And now lately, it's like, ah, oh, shit, we need some new recruits, we need some new draft picks. Right. So Tiana I'm all for black Yvonne. love. You know, Sierra and the, congrats on the healthy baby. It wasn't a trap baby. Mm. As far as I got trapped, you ain't going nowhere, nigga. Like, you actually playing. Wake so that up. You shout out to that. Yeah, no, so. wake, wake that up. Yeah, he asked her, I uh, remember the Ellen show? Mm -hmm. He begged her on his knees for that baby. Who? Russell. Russell, yeah. Russell, Russell, okay. Because yeah, right. we got back to Russell, okay. Sorry, but he, it's okay. he, yeah, 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 he yeah, said yeah, trap yeah. baby, I was like, no, he begged her for that yeah. baby. And she was like, ah, I don't know. And then, mm, you know. I, I missed guess, that, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw that. Okay. <laughs> it's good when they beg for the get that done. It's I don't good when they begging for a baby. Right? It's good when they beg for the baby when they not inside of it. Like they really mean it. They already married. Like, I, I, that's part of the package. I married you. You gotta have these babies. Yeah. yeah. Many as I want to have. It means as many as I want to have. Do care about your yeah. bio biological clock? Yeah. Like, it means count, not in the bed. anyway, right? Uh, <laughs> we're trying to make rules oh, up about their body now. We got married. Be with that's the shit with our body now. We share that body. <laughs> oh, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's dope. Um, was it because she's older now and she just didn't want to do it because her career or? No, nah. I mean, I mean, yeah. no, I think, I, I think, I think they've been having, yeah. Yeah. what's this, they third or they second? Just that they got a whole they third. Third. ad. I was in Canada. I seen a whole gap ad with them. I was like, oh, look at Sierra. Like, yeah, yeah. Sierra. With the whole family it. in the ad. Like, that was dope. They getting to it. Angela Simmons, Joe Gotti. Are you happy for it? Are you, are you against it? Is there anybody that's, go ahead, D. So I, 
excuse me, I would just like to express when it comes to Angela and Yo Gotti, I don't believe it. It just gives force. When I say I don't believe it, I'm not saying that I don't believe they're together. They're clearly together. So I definitely believe that. But um, I just don't believe, I don't believe the love. I don't believe it. Why not though? It gets very forced, but I think that it's Angela because I, I always thought that she was very awkward. Um, so I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like, I, it's Angela. It's nothing to do with Yo Gotti. It's her that just gives me, like, this is just forced. This is a just a PR stuff. <laughs> it just gives, like, no chemistry between them. Like, I don't see the chemistry. I don't. But it's not for me to see. And I will say that this is the reason why I don't go on social media and write long paragraphs about it because they romance or they chemistry is really not for nobody else to see. But mm-hmm. it just but being that they are posting it and you're asking about it, it don't get real. But you know, a lot of people relationships that look real don't be real either. So they it could be perfect, you know? Mm-hmm. But just based on my what I see, it just gets forced. Mm. Mm. So Ruby has a question for you. No, she she no she answered because she she said she didn't she feels like it's uh, my my thing is I I would rather her stay her awkward regular shy self as opposed to yeah. now because I'm with Yo Gotti now I gotta be out here because we know that's not her we've literally been seeing her since she was doing pastry and she's never been out mm-hmm. there like even we didn't know who her baby father really was until she was like mad pregnant mm-hmm. so it's like she's never been out there and and having her business all out there and at the end of the day she's a shy person and she's a, she's still a reverend's daughter so, like, yeah, I don't understand what y'all want her to do. Like, now she's a thug. Now y'all want her to sit there and, and dress different. Because at the end of the day, when Sierra started dating Future and started dressing a little different, y'all was getting on Sierra saying that, you know what I'm saying, she really wasn't being herself. Mm-hmm. Y'all was saying she was trying to be thugged out with Future, and that really wasn't her because she was just on some, my goodies, my goodies, and now you know it's something different. So I was talking about her, like just embrace the fact that people don't let the person because he accepts her awkward. He knew about her awkward when he had a crush. Hold on, Ruby. Hold hold on, hold on. Um, since said you gotta mute your mic. I wanted to ask you. Hold on, hold on. Since said you gotta mute your mic while somebody's speaking because it sounds crazy. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Um, um, since said hold on. Go ahead, Ruby. But yeah, so he like he that's what probably made him like her. She ain't out like everybody else. She ain't yeah. raggedy and ratchet like everybody else. She ain't always trying to be on the scene like everybody else. She's mm-hmm. about her business. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's what attracts him to her. Everybody always think niggas want the long lashes and the seven foot of baby hair Ooh. edges hanging from the side of you. They don't want that shit. Ooh. Like they don't want that. If you a nice, humble person, that's what they like. And especially when you can remain humble, especially messing with a person like that, like, I, I respect it. Mm-hmm. I, I don't ever want her to change. I, I want her to stay her weird, awkward, shy yeah. self. It doesn't seem forced. It seems like mm-hmm. my man loves me and he knows me and he accepts me who, for who I am and I'm not changing for the world because at the end of the day, y'all ain't shit. So I'm not changing for y'all. Wait that up. I'm not changing for y'all. I'm still gonna be famous. I'm gonna eat off the floor. Five seconds after it dry, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna dig in my nose. If my wig, if I'm in a club and it's hot, I'm gonna take my wig off and I'm gonna wipe the sweat from under and I'm gonna put my wig in front of the sun to dry it and then put it back on my I'm not changing for nobody. I'm not. That's a dub. That's a dub. It's a dub. Okay, I'm can I say this? So, I wanted to respond because when I say that she's awkward or I'm not, I feel like you was going on. So, some of the things you said, I feel, but some of the things was like kind of a little off of what I was saying. And I'm not saying that you're responding directly to me. You could just be adding your own points in as well. Right, right, right. But I'm not talking about, I don't want her to be no ratchet girl or to be out here and Throwing, you know, doing a ceiling challenge. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I don't believe the love. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I want her to be out here doing the most. No, she don't got to do none of that. 
just continue to be yourself. But I'm saying, when they do shit, it seems like photo ops. It don't seem like a lot of the shit that they do, especially when they did that photo, I think it was last year, and she had on, like, the dress, and he had on, like, the suit, and they was in front of the car. That shit just looked like a... It just looked like a publicity stunt. That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't right, believe quick it. Quick question, she though. Don't, yeah. She don't have to do... She don't got to do shit else. She can be herself, yes. Men do love a humble woman. A woman, she also, he like her because she don't got her body done. She's natural. She work right. out. So that's right. another thing that he like. I'm not saying she got to go get her ass done. She, gotta, she don't got to do nothing. Right. I'm just saying I do not believe the love. I don't believe right. it. Quick question, I, though. I don't believe who, it. Who have you seen her really, really, really love and really, really, really care for that you can make that, 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 come to that conclusion. Like, who has she really, really, really been in love with and been loved on? Not the love and hip hop back and forth with Bad Wow and Little Roman. We know that's back when we was hanging posters on the wall. But who have you really seen her love and interact with that you can make that uh, uh, ob observation that, mm -hmm. that she's not loving him for real? Okay, so again, like you just said, right? All right, so no technical difficulties, but we back at it. Shout out to the YouTube viewership. Make sure you guys scroll to the top. Um, um, Allison, can you uh, go back to YouTube and pin the new link, please, Queen? There's a new link. Can yeah. you go get it? Thank you. Kim. <laughs> so what are we talking about now? Wait, hold on, hold on. I got you. I hold got up. you. Just, just listen. Listen long enough, and I got you. <sighs> now, I was born on a sh <laughs> I was born by the river. In a hospital <sighs> in the Bronx. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. But throughout my travels of being born in the Bronx, I was raised in Harlem. And somehow, some way, I can't help but feel. <laughs> So I was born on a small street. <laughs> so, you know, my thing is just like, Cam had to be for Melissa Ford, right? Melissa Ford said something that she shouldn't have said, honestly speaking. Cam said what he said, but then Melissa apologized and she held herself accountable. That's where the bus should stop. But then Cam did what Cam does, hey, and Cam. he went too far, right? From the point of somebody holding themselves accountable, what else is there to really be the dead horse? It's like almost you want to have a fight with somebody that ain't asking for the fight. They saying, yo, I'm cool, my bad, I messed up, players oh. mess up, my bad, I shouldn't have said it, shouldn't have did it, my fault. And then Cam goes off the deep end. We ain't going to get into what he said because <laughs> I ain't. that's not this platform. We ain't going to do that. But Cam be doing too much. Mm. And there comes a certain point in time. D, you got something on your mind. Get it off. I heard a saying, some people go low. I'm coming to you next. Some kid. people go low. Some people go lower than the earthworm's belly button. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Cam. <laughs> like, he just be scratching That's the right. surface, so. Yeah. That's right. So, so I guess my real question to you, and, and I'm, I'm going to ask beloved here in the glasses with me. Yeah, we on glasses time. It's going to get a little crazy. We got to be on our glasses. It's going to get nervous. Um, so now Shade's no more than glasses. It's early now. morning here. Sure, Shade, sure. So <laughs> Cam responds to Melissa Ford. Did Cam do too much? Cam didn't do too much. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Cam didn't do too much. Talk, talk to me. Why didn't Cam do too much? Because the, uh, the allegations were heinous. You know what I'm saying? This was not just like, mm. I'm accusing you of stealing a piece of bubble gum. That to accuse a man of what she was pretty much accusing him of was a, a very heinous thing to accuse somebody of. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, it wasn't a little thing. That's a big thing. It cost somebody mm -hmm. pretty much a, 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 a great thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What she did. And, and you can't throw away, throw around words like that this Personally, because you feel like it or you think or maybe it could have happened. That's a hard, hard allegation. So anything that I throw back, that's on you because you put that energy out there. Yep. You started yep. that fight. And just because you want to end the fight, 
see you ready to end the fight don't mean that that's what okay with me. If me and you get into it, and I should happen to get the best of you, am I supposed to stop because now you stop, you ready to stop fighting? No, you gotta get all the <laughs> Preaching. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. I got pushback, and I got heavy pushback. Mm. So here's my pushback to that, King. Mm -hmm. We men, at some point and at what point in time do we stand on business and really stand on the business and not just talk about spinning the block and shooting your ops? We men. I expect as a man for women to be emotional and say certain things as a man, right? As a man, I'm not giving, I'm not caping for them. I'm not giving the easy out. I'm not shooting them no bell. But I guess I am shooting them a little bell. Yep. So my point inside of this is I'm not saying, because you right to the point of once you start it. That's right. What, what, probably not the Bex example. What did he say? Once you start it, <laughs> it's never going to stop. Right? So I, I I get that rationale, but there is a part of me that's still a large part of me, pause, that feels like we men, Kim, and she held herself accountable. It would be different if she was still shooting. Or if she or if she was none the wiser and she came out and was still kicking up dust. Right? But she walked it back, she said, I'm sorry, and then the dudes that was that was around her said, Yo, you doing mad much. We all said it. I said it. When they said it, I was saying it on, on, on Joe Pod. When, when they, so I just feel like, yeah, she so said. Because she's a woman, she deserves grace for, for, for using the R word? No, mm. no, no, no. She don't deserve grace for that. She deserves no, grace she because she held herself accountable. accountable. Okay. Did she no. do that after somebody oh, brought no. her attention or did she do it herself? She brought herself to the accountability or somebody <laughs> said, yo, you was wrong in this. She somebody said, you know else. what, I was a, Right. Well, after she saw, and, after she saw how she affected Cam by way of saying what she said, you know, once you mention the R word out your mouth, it's disrespectful. It's no, you I'm not, I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not saying her offenses wasn't right. I'm not saying they, they wasn't right. I'm just saying. Wait, let me ask you a question, King. What, what's your name? One time, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Tom, hey it's Tommy. Tommy, would you fight somebody that don't want to fight you? If they smack, uh, it depends on what they what they did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm saying, it, it, it's a heinous thing. If, All if right, so so sister, so from the point of then, yeah, I'm gonna fight with the, up to my ability. Right. So if it's, a, if it's a guy, if it was something like minor, you know what I'm saying? He, he knocked over my beard, and no, nah, I'm not gonna fight him like what that. What I'm saying is, is what, she, what I'm saying is, is once you hit the person and you get your head off, uh, and they say no, I'm, I'm good, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You gonna still fight him? Yep. Yes, you don't get Now, hold on, stop, 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 because stop, because now you look like a bully. No. Now you look like a bully. You no. caused the but, fence, but and on, now they're saying, go for it. But, but hold on, but then see, uh, I know, like, you know, got to say, like, oh, yeah, it's, it's women, it's just a little different, but those allegations could have cost damn millions of dollars. Look what happened to the kicker. All right, but in, we uh, can't Buffalo. keep, stay, we can't keep, uh. we got to stop standing on that, though, because if it didn't, all right, my thing is this, you right. And I agree with that. But at what point of her apologizing do you start to be a man in the matter and walk it back and start saying, have a different kind of conversation. Call her personally. You could get in contact with her. Have that conversation offline. You could still kick, rave, and do everything no. you do, and it still want to no. fight her and say. Uh, it happened online. It got to happen. Yeah. No, that's not how it works. Because way. she decided, didn't she decide to go online and go on a race fight against Hold on. Like oh. Broadway. I, look. Hold on. You know hold on. Saying? Everybody, hold on. Everybody, mic up. Mute up. Go ahead, Taja. When it comes to women accusing men of rape and these type of things, that does not go away. Just because she said, ooh, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. does not mean mm -hmm. that there's not a legion of women who mm -hmm. still do not believe that man is a rapist. Mm -hmm. It's going to ruin his career. It's going to ruin his career. He's walking down the street, and people still going to be like, yeah, that rape her ass. It doesn't matter if she said that she was wrong. Look what happened with Mike Tyson. They said, they accused Mike Tyson of rape. Said Mike Tyson wasn't guilty, right? He came out, Mike Tyson still, all these years later, still mm -hmm. has rape attached to his name. Mm -hmm. 
You understand? These kind of allegations do not go away, and women need to be very I'm careful. Not, but, but listen to me, Taja. Is. Taja, hear me. I'm not fighting that. I agree and stand in alignment with that. Only thing I'm saying is, is from the point you, Kim, for one, she's a woman. I Two, don't hold care. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't don't mistake the silence. I'm just letting it breathe. One, she's a woman. Two, you look like a bully when you start calling her all different types of sluts and hoes. And two, you was fucking in the bathroom and you start doing all the extra stuff. You just look crazy. As I'm not saying you wrong, cause I stand in alignment with what you and my guy Tom, Tommy here is saying. I, I stand in alignment with what the room is saying too. Only thing I'm saying is, is Cam, you look like a bully when you start doing way too much. Go ahead, Jay. Couple things. Couple things. Like you said, it's 2023. It's too much shit going on right now with, with the whole uh pub situation. You had the Bill Cosby situation, you had the whole shit going on, even cause now and now they doing everybody's lyrics. She might have said that, and now all of a sudden they're gonna go through every single mm -hmm. lyric that Cam has mm -hmm. to see what's going on. Look what they're doing with Rick Ross. We were saying it's the old pin shit and they drinks and blah blah blah. That could start a whole different shit. You can just play like you this big bad wolf and then play victim at the same time. And certain people you know you just don't play with. It's not a good thing or bad. You can't play with Fifth. You can't play with Cam. And like I said, you can't do all that shit and say, I'm going to get my big brother. You, you can't. Well, well, stay right and there I because. Five daughters. Stay, stay, stay right there. And I'm going to come to you, Lala. Stay right there because Joe defended Melissa. And I feel oh, like he. Oh, oh I, sorry. One more last thing. Sorry. And she made a whole documentary on this shit, right? So it's already oh, the plumber side. What are you talking about? Melissa. No. So they had a whole, the whole thing was on, on Netflix or something like that, when you're seeing a whole breakdown of her, how she was in the industry and doing, oh, it was a vixen. And there, there was a whole thing that yeah. she made money off of. So he didn't say nothing that wasn't out there already. She sure did. No, what I'm saying is, is what I'm saying is, is I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that whatever your public persona that's out there, that's out there. I'm saying as a man, what code are we standing on? As a man, what code are we standing on? As men. Forget the women that's in the room right now, Jay. Yeah. What code D are we standing on as men? It do we be... do hold on? Do we sidestep and say, well, she's a woman, so anybody get it? So do you want your do you want your daughters? Do you want do you want your sisters? Do you want your mothers to be treated like men? All right, so... Hold on. That's a direct question. Do you want the women that's in your life to stand on business and be treated like men. Because if that's the case, then I'll run across a bitch mouth. Of course not. We don't want our women in our lives to be treated like dudes. Then they shouldn't be acting like Thank it then. You. It doesn't matter, uh, Taj. No, if hold if on, a, Taj. I got smoke. I don't know. Disrespect, then stay out of it. Accountability. Don't, put your, don't accountability. stick your head in the lion's mouth and expect him not to snap your fucking head off. Ah. Okay. You put your head in the lion's mouth and he fights you, it's your fault. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Don't poke the bear. All right, um, Sean, tap in with me real quick, Sean. What, what side of the fence you stand on? You stand on, okay? Well, 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 you, you're making some good points. It, it doesn't matter that she's a woman, but to your point, if somebody asks for forgiveness and, 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 and it's already even, do you have to go that far? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Cam is often regularly going too far. He act real. He, he he's that's his uh, persona. He needs to outgrow it, and he is starting. And to he mature needs out to outgrow it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is starting to mature out of it because you know he kind of held back a lot in comparison to what he usually would do. He's mm -hmm. really petty, and let's be clear on that. Let's mm -hmm. not let's not miss that part. He's a petty person. He acts like a petty sometimes female. And he ain't, you know, that's just what he has done in the past. I ain't knocking him for it. But to your point, when do we mature? When do we get out of that? And, and when do we start uh, uh, standing and, and making some, um, some, being very clear on maybe we don't need to be that petty mm -hmm. all the time as men? And that's to your point. But I don't, I'm not saying it because it's a woman. No. That's just in general. You gave the example of a bully. If somebody hit you and you hit them back, and would you still be fighting them? Whoever's saying, yeah, then they being petty. What, what else? What are you fighting over? What are you still fighting for? You don't got yours off. He got his off. He ain't going to beat you. You know he ain't going to beat you. So what, what is the point? To, right. to humiliate when they ask yeah. you for forgiveness? Don't play with me. 
Yeah. Well, you want to well, do it to the next lesson. person. You want to do it to the next you, person. That's your, that's your ego talking. Get out your ego. It's now you. ego, nigga. I had nothing that's to do with it. It's common sense. Homeboy, I got five daughters. If my daughter come, I'm not taking a person. I got five daughters. If I have five daughters and my daughters come to me and say anything like a can situation, first thing is, I'm going to say, what did you do? Before I go to my gun and shoot this nigga, I need to know what makes sense. If you wrong, my daughter's wrong, baby, you wrong, baby girl. I understand you're wrong. that, but don't you, you're you giving your daughter grace, though. You're forgiving her. That's what we're talking about. No, you're not listening to what saying. I said. I'm not going to beat this nigga up a fight if my daughter's wrong. Like you said, the, the accountability for Melissa Ford. But if there's no way, I'm not one of those dads, I'm going to go over there and fight him automatically. If you're wrong, you're wrong, baby girl. I'm lesson. not going to be one of them hothead dads to go over there. That's my daughter. That's my kid. So, all right. Use that okay. same analogy. Yeah, hold yeah, on, hold yeah. on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Use that same analogy. So, you say she's wrong. Yep. She says she's sorry. Yep. Now, dude goes the distance, and now she violated. Now, hold on. Stop. 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 She says, you say she's wrong. She apologizes. Yeah. Shouldn't that be where it stops? Stop. And don't. I'm not potting. I'm being honest. So from the point of kid, from, from the from the point of you saying that she's wrong, that's what Joe and the rest of the staff, the rest of the cast did. She said that she was sorry. And now, oh boy, if if God forbid in real life since now, whatever situation that, that baby girl brought to you, and now dude decides to escalate it and take it to another level, he not wrong. If Cam next he, week. On the news, is he, he pulls up all his lyrics. I'm talking. If he pulls up all the lyrics from last week, all his songs, and now you start critiquing it to rape and shit, we're gonna say, oh, Melissa, I apologize. Melissa, like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. That shit, like you said, could start a whole different shit. It's too much shit going I, I, out with I, I, all these rappers that, now. But, it's but, the whole but, thing. Can, I agree with you there, but can we really look at this clearly? If he got songs oh, like that, you, that ain't her words, that's his words. If he was doing that gangbanging stuff where well, he brought it up, that's his words. I need. Now, yeah, I, it got, I it need. Got let's agree and disagree. I, 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 and go on. Wait, wait. I agree. It got misconstrued. But if in fact he wasn't talking recklessly like that, we wouldn't be nothing to go in there. He wouldn't talk recklessly if she yeah. said a dumb shit. No from wait, the stop. Let's I got agree you. Disagree. I got you, La. I need you to answer that question though, because you didn't answer it. What part? Right. <laughs> you said that. What I'm saying is, is. You said, baby girl, come to you. You say she wrong, she wrong. Yeah. Right? Cool. Mm -hmm. She says, all right, dad, I didn't see it that way. I apologize. And then she takes it to old boy. She apologizes to him. Yeah. And now he takes it to another level, and he starts doing way too much. He banging out her car. He, he, golf. That's, that's physical. That's totally different. You can't do physical punch in the face and bang a car on all right, somebody's all right. verbal but, conversation. But, that's but, what I, but what I'm saying is, is what's the level of too much? Because if he I, starts I thinking. it. If we verbally argue, so my, my doing, daughter's verbally arguing somebody, that's different. But if you're saying something that can cause me to get, that's like if a kid, so if you got wrong? kids, and you say so something, is he wrong? If you, you start ACS, doing too much. Whoa, nigga, now I got ACS coming to my door every single fucking day because you was joking. Because my kid was over there for four minutes playing and I wasn't over there. Any person who has a kid, Ruby will tell you, hey, we don't play with ACS. Guys, we don't play with cops. So you know I'm, that. That's I'm, totally different. What I'm saying is, is, is he Wrong for taking it. And I answered that forward. 20 minutes ago. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. He, he's hey, listen, not wrong. Let me get, let me he's get not in wrong. Wow. I just answered it. Let me get in real quick. Wow. Let, me real quick. Wow. Hey, let me get in real quick. I think what he what he was doing was he did what the Romans do. He put her head on on the spikes on the gate in front of the gate. Yeah, I agree. You know, he let people know like, hey, if you if you come for me, mm -hmm. make I agree. sure your house is clean. I wow. agree, a hundred percent with you. I agree. That's what I'm trying to wow. say. They won't. The next person won't I, do it. She I won't play right, around no more. I agree. She won't make that a joke again. I yeah. tell you that much. Yeah, I won't. get it. She I, didn't say the most. It wasn't like they was arguing. She said it. She, she won't throw Melissa that is very smart. Again. We know this. She's very, very smart, smart. Very intelligent. Yeah. She wasn't in a passion. Do we all agree? She wasn't a passionate moment or emotional. She was sitting out talking, calm and collectively, and said that. It's a difference. Yeah. Did yeah. we all agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Lala. So I'm gonna move the goalposts just a smidge. Oh, I don't okay. know. You know, you know I gotta do it. This is Queen moving something. She, <laughs> just get is the U-Haul out here? Did you this drive here in the U-Haul? Yeah. <laughs> no. She she be moving some shit. Go ahead. What's up? Go ahead, La. So I don't. I can't see who's talking. I don't know if it was Sean or whoever it was, but th this this is basically what we was talking about last week. How his mouth is reckless. So it's almost like, even though she was joking, allegedly joking. She wasn't joking. She was serious. Okay. Serious. I didn't see it. I don't know. But I'm just going off of what I'm hearing, right? So 
even though she made this allegation, right, you kind of handed it to her on a silver platter just off of the pod you did with Mace, and you talking about beating bitches upside the head <laughs> when you do in three ways. Like, it can start you, you can't, like, you can't get mad at something that you already put out there. You can't. Like, I understand That's your point. That's a good point. assessment. Mm-hmm. I understand your point. You are correct in your assertions. But at the same time, he has to be accountable for his words. Because just the last week, he was kiki and high high with his buddy about how they I disrespected agree. women. Yeah. So I, I see agree. his point, and I see yours as well. But you can't have your cake, eat it too, want mm-hmm. her to build the cake, blow out the candles, and say, all right, bitch. <laughs> but he was disrespecting you mad disrespecting. But, but you mad disrespecting of age women. It doesn't matter. It does. It does. It's, it's, it's I'm a different si- point. I, I can sit there and be disgusted and nasty and disrespectful as I want to with 35-year-olds because mm-hmm. they grown. So if I sit there and tell you all the freak nasty shit that I did, I did that shit with grown-ass people. Mm-hmm. What you can't do is put your little twist on it and turn these bitches' ages mm-hmm. under. Because but y'all wasn't mad at me when I though. said y'all wasn't, but th- that's what it, that's what they talking about. She yeah. said underage girls. Mm-hmm. They but they were twelve. But, they but but this is back in ninety two. Cam says, hold on. Cam says that this that they was that they wasn't supposed to be in the whole house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cam so says how old were they? Cam says that they was twelve and thirteen that they shouldn't have been in the whole house. No, I think they were sixteen and seventeen, not not twelve and thirteen. Seventeen, yeah, whatever so it was. 16, yeah. And she talk about some. Oh. No, no, I know my that. Point was, I'm just talking about speaking to him. Right. But my, I'm not disagreeing with rules. But my point is, you, you can't, you can't, like Jay say, you can't, you know, you wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. You can't do that. You can't throw stones and and then hide your hand later. You can't do that. How are you gonna get mad at something that you already know? Allegedly, you went on air and you said that you did it to somebody else. But did he? What? What? What did he say? Did he? What? What'd you say? He said he was disrespecting. No, women. he said they was running a train on Shorty, and then the other one was busting the other one in the head. He's like, I'm just trying to get my oopy oopy sloppy doppy goppy goppy. However he right. do. Right, and nobody frowned upon it because that's we what we. Did. That's we what did. we do. Wow. <laughs> How? How we, we got trains? <laughs> no, not, not we. Allegedly. Allegedly, <laughs> I had no train. But I'm saying. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> when, he, when he threw it out there, we didn't get upset at the train thing because that's what happens. Nobody frowned upon the train thing. That's what rappers do. That's what regular dudes that's do. I've watched plenty of doors. trains. I call a few friends mm-hmm. Amtrak because of the trains that was ran. So it, we, nobody made an interview of that. We didn't make that a topic of conversation. Where it got tricky was when she threw... Them being underage in it now it's a problem. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, 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 wait. So hold on, wait, hold on. You, you're right. You're right. That She's right. She added fuel to the fire. She did. But, 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 wait, 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 but with the temperature of what's going on yeah. right now, it was stupid of him to bring it up. But why? Let's but why can't I say? Why it can't I tell? One mic at a time. One mic. One mic. So real quick. So because. Men are getting arrested every day and their secrets are getting exposed. I can't tell you that I was fucking a bunch of people. Absolutely, you should. But, but, that's how, but it's, they not going you to can, jail. You not, wait, wait, wait. Listen, I'm not finished. Guys, guys, guys. Hold on, Sean. Jail, hold on, Sean. But they not going to jail and being under investigation for fucking other people. They're getting investigated and going to jail for messing with underage younger, people younger, or no. being abusive. This is not the same thing. This is like with the Angela Simmons and Yo Gotti and came with Yelly and Ashanti. This has nothing to do with nothing. This not That was not supposed to be said at all. At Absolute. all. Not, not, at not, all. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like you, you start Broadway. with telling a person, yo, I got on red shoes. And by the time it gets to Broadway... Ruby was in a hotel messing with some nigga. He had on red. He had it was red sheets on the bed, and they was doing the this telephone. Thing. Nothing, man. nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. The only thing that's the same is red. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She shouldn't have said it. 
Yeah. Period. Point blank. But, but, you should not have but, but said that. But the that. point, the point, the point that I'm making is you're mm -hmm. right. I agree with that point. Mm -hmm. But he shouldn't have said it either. Yes, you can get locked up. It ain't about underage only. It's about the abuse and the Me Too. Yes, you can go through all of that. Cassie wasn't underage. But she, yes, was she, was. Was. she was. Yeah, but these women, she, these, she, a lot wait, of these wait, women are wait, 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 to this, but right? the point, but the point that mic. I'm making, the point that I'm making mm -hmm. isn't about whether they agreed or not. The point is, is that on his point of view, from a man's standpoint, it was unwise of him to put it out there on his platform right now in this climate if he didn't want any backlash. When I saw it, I was like, what is he doing? That makes no sense because I didn't think she was going to say something, but did I think that it might uh, uh, trigger his sponsors not to want to mess with him? Absolutely. So hold did on, I think hold, that on. hold on, Sean. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sean. Go ahead, D. Tap in with us. You've been patiently waiting. So, all right, I got a few things. I'm, I'm going to leave the... So, this is a situation that happened in Clubhouse a while ago, and somebody had just threw an allegation at me that had nothing to do with nothing. And the way that I felt when it happened in a room full of women, and because they was going at black men, they used the... You, you, they called me a, a rapist or whatever, and I was just like, me, you DW, never took nothing from nobody. So I know how that feels when it's just somebody just saying it. So Random. for somebody to attach it to something, that's crazy. What I'm trying to figure out is, because I podcast all the time, did they, could they not have edited that out? Why did that even get mm, out? Mm, like, how did, how did mm, we even know mm. about that? See, so hold on, I got you, I got you to that, because I, I, this oh. is my thing, like, okay. I, I got information for that, right? Okay. Right. So he said to Melissa, yo, he called her. He said, yo, you want to keep this in here? It's going to sound crazy. She said, yeah, I don't care. Keep it in there. So I, Hold on. Oh, yo, so oh, wait. Crazy, so look. Boy. So she says she okayed it. He called, he called her. He spoke with her. He said, yo, Melissa, M4, you want to keep that in there? She says, yeah, keep it in there. Stand mm. on right, business. All right, Go ahead. All right. Mm. All right. There you go. So now I'm Cam blacking on, on the own other podcast. Like, because you let it come through. Like, that's why he went at Joe Button and said, you don't even want this kind of smoke. Mm -hmm. and, and he's right, because he's not going to just back down now. Because I'm not, listen. The I, edit, I'm thinking about the edit. I hear you. I hear you. And from it a production, a from a like producer now. standpoint, right. I get it, right? I, I I get it. I get it. I think I, I I think that I think that we there was a, go ahead, Rubes, you got something on your chest. We're going to get it off, and then we're going to move along. Go ahead, Rubes. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was two things. Cause, uh, the guy was saying, um, you know, he wasn't supposed to say it. If, if, if you sitting there having a, a, a conversation with your homeboy and he tells you a situation about him running a train on somebody, would you feel the same way about your homeboy? Yo, this is not the economy or, or, or this is not the, the, the time to actually be telling me your sexual experiences because we're talking about sex. We're not talking about abuse. We're talking about a train. The only thing that's abused is that pussy, not the female. So it's like, I'm not understanding why y'all feeling like him saying he was running trains on people is, is, is him displaying the abuse. But so boom, boom on that. Um, what was my second joint? So I didn't know that Joe called, Joe Melissa. called Melissa. If Joe called, that changes everything. Mm -hmm. Because if Joe called Melissa and he asked her, Joe knew that some shit would get stirred up. He didn't call and ask her about anything else except for what she said. And the fact that she was okay with saying that mm -hmm. means she believed every fucking word that she said. And she, she, she was saying that that was her truth and she was okay with it being out there. She was okay with his yep. image being tarnished and she was okay with the backlash. So fuck out of here. Yep. Cam is not bugging. Fuck that bitch. Yep. Fuck out of here. Cam is not OD. Because if you was asked right. about this, you could have been on some, yo, you know what? I was wailing. I was saying too much. You know what, Joe? Edit that shit out. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want that kind of... I, I shouldn't even do that to him, yo. Like, like you know, black men yep. already under attack. It's already a bunch of shit going on. I really don't even know if that's fucking true. Mm. Let me not say that. But no. That's going to get us more views, more <laughs> ratings, more talk it was a about it. But now it was a you get more bait. views, bitch. Because now I niggas agree. is really talking about you. And really watching okay, you. Can now. I ask a question? No, I hold really on one second. Know. Hold on one second. Like you, you, hold you on, wanted hold on, that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Penny. Hold on, Penny. You wanted that. 
You hold, cannot throw a champagne on, glass on. on the floor and put it back together and put a Band-Aid over it and, and the Band-Aid is sorry and think that you're still going to pour your Henny in it. It's not happening. It's right, not so listen, happening. So listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, wow. I love the passion. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love the passion, right? I love us. And and you know, um, no, I didn't mean no disrespect to you, Penny. I just want to bring it all the way back together before we go kamikaze. Well, we've already gone. Um, <laughs> um, so you know, my my thing becomes um, my 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 thing becomes um, please, can somebody help me out? Come on, come <laughs> come come to me if I'm it's okay. Um, my my my. Mm -hmm. My thing becomes um, when I jump. You say, you see, when I say certain things, I love it. I love it. I love it. When, 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 when I say certain things, y'all look at me. I feel as though like I'm tripping. So you know about that stop, stop, the whole stop, time. Stop, stop. Hold on. Hold on. Let me cook. Hold on. Yes, of course. Of course I did. Wow. Of course I did. That's what we doing? Mm. Well, what I'm saying is, is more importantly than knowing about the edit, is, is simply, thank you, is simply, if y'all listen to what I'm talking about, what I'm regarding is, she recognized where she went wrong. Hold on, stop, stop. She recognized where she went wrong. Now, oh shit, he putting on the hood. What I'm saying is, is when she recognizes, <laughs> I got a fucking hood too. What's going on over here? It's not the same when, space. When 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 she when she recognizes that she went wrong. No, stop, stop. When she rec. So the pot comes out. Mm -hmm. The initial Cam do, does and says whatever he says about the train and whatever. Uh -huh. Melissa says whatever she says. Right. Then Cam says what he says in response now to Melissa. Mm -hmm. So now Melissa sees it and says, "Wow, I'm sorry, I messed up. My fault, right?" I didn't know sugar, honey, iced tea from nothing, right? Now, Cam, after seeing that, says, that wasn't his first response. So hear me. My energy would be different on this if that was Cam's first initial response, which is, I'm out of here. Yo, you did woo, 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 woo. That wasn't his first response. His first response was, Yo, you, yo, <laughs> you lucky because <laughs> I turned it up on you. Then it sat for a few days. Hold on. Right, mm -hmm. right, but hold on. He gave her the grace. She apologizes, and then he turns up. And that's my point. Okay. From, hold on, yeah. hold on, everybody mute up. One mic on Broadway. What I'm saying is, is if that was, you know what they say in the court of law? Right? If somebody is coming at you and, and, and you frantically, and you, oh my God, I got my gun, and you shoot them, boom, self defense. It becomes premeditated. If, you, if, if, if now you, you ran after me, you shot at me, whatever the case is, and then I go up the stairs three days later, I get my gun, I come back and I shoot at you. That's premeditated. So what I'm saying is, is I would have gave Cam the same grace y'all giving him if that was his first response, but that wasn't. Understood. After he saw the apology, then he comes back, mm. and now he's doubling down on some bullshit. So I can't respect him from that and for that notion because he didn't do it off top. He read the room and saw how everybody, oh, wait, they saying I could dumb out. Okay, I could dumb out, and I could be okay for dumbing out. Now I'm going dumb out. I don't respect it. Mm -hmm. I don't respect I, it. I, go ahead. 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 You making a vow? Too many mics are open. Okay. Mute your mic, Sean, please. Sean, I don't know what it is on your side. Something I don't know if you're listening to us on another platform, but something is really loud on, on your end. Um, I'm gonna go to Naisha, then I'm gonna go to Sean because um, Naisha was trying to get a word in. My fault. Go ahead, Naisha. 
It's Penny, but Penny. Anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Queen. I'm sorry. I only I only say that when I'm joking with you on pot. Oh, oh, my bad, Queen. It's Penny Black Friday best selling author. Please look me up on Amazon. Wake Black that up. Is okay. Right. Um. So yeah, let me just say this. Um. Definitely a fan of Cam. Definitely a fan of Dipset. I don't know exactly what Melissa's Ford said. Let me just say that. I do agree with Sean about. Um, what's appropriate and what's not appropriate when it comes to talking about certain stuff. And see, this is the reason why, like, okay, Cam being a hood nigga, I feel like him doing this podcast, it's really going to help him to recognize that he can't say whatever he want to say. As much as he feel like he can, I feel like, you know, this is just one example. The show ain't even been on for a whole year. So this is just one example of how something he said could backlash and could create a whole nother scenario. Like talking about running trains to now this situation with Melissa Ford, his mouth is crazy. So the thing is, if he don't recognize now that he can't just say whatever he wants to say, it gonna, it's going to be something bigger. So I think that that's the, that's really the issue because he just got this huge endorsement for the show, which I'm really happy for him and Mace about, you know, because I mean, Cam got bread, but it's like, what real consistent, consistent income right now, aside from the liquor stores he got in Harlem and shit like that and the other business stuff. So this was a huge, this whole, it's, it, it is what it is, huge, huge thing for him and Mace. He, he needs not to fuck it up with talking about certain things. And another point I want to bring on, when people talk about rape, I feel like now- The R word, the R word. We're not going to use okay. that word on here. Sorry. So when people Should've talk about the R word nowadays, they only focus on statutory. That's the only thing that's like, oh, it's wrong. It's a little girl. But if it's a grown woman, it's okay. And that's the problem that I feel. That's the problem that I have right now. If it's a woman being abused or being taken advantage of, it's okay because she's grown. And my thing is like, where's the respect for women across the board? Because just because she's grown doesn't mean she's not somebody's daughter and somebody don't care about her. Mm. Now, of course, it's women out here that like trains being ran on them. Yes, it's women out here that like to gangbang. They like that. That's what they like, and that's cool. But let's not act like let's not act like we can't imagine the fact that Cam is so misogynistic and always has been. Let's not act like we can't imagine the kind of rooms he's been in, the way he's treated women. Let's not act like we can't imagine that, knowing his character, knowing how he is. Let's so I just feel moves. like, you know, with that being said, I agree with Sean. Yeah. He, if he hasn't learned that he can't say whatever he want to say, he's going to learn it because this climate that people are in now, they are criticizing every small little thing you did, you said, they pulling up receipts, they doing so, all kinds of shit. So if he want to keep his endorsements and he want to keep that money rolling in, he needs to learn how to close his mouth about certain stuff. You're so, not in a barbershop. You're not having barbershop talk. You on a, you're on YouTube to the world yeah. talking about this stuff. So he's gonna learn that. So and if so, he don't, it's gonna affect his bag. And I, I close with that. So so thank you for that, um, Penny. You, you're absolutely right in that. You know, um, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna give my last piece on this. Um, you know, it, it's so interesting because I love what you said about underage and women and and snatchatory and stuff like that. You know, um, and maybe it's a a, a conversation. Because I also think that the R word looks like more just because you consent to the, to the sex doesn't mean you consent to other things. All mm -hmm. sex isn't created equal mm -hmm. if you want to wake it up. You know what I mean? Right. So, so just because you might be okay with the sex don't mean that you're okay with me spitting on you. Mm -hmm. Don't right. mean that you're okay with me giving you anal. You can still consent to the sex and not consent to the other portions of right. the sex. And that could be easily identified as the R word too. Right. If you want to wake it up. You know what I mean? And there's a lot right. of people that say that, yo, you gave me consent. I ain't signing up for all of this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? That so part. we got to be very clear on that portion of it too when it comes to the R stuff. You know what I mean? Because not all sex is created equally. But we're going to move along because we've been on this way longer than I thought we would be. <laughs> um, uh, we got, hold on, hold, hold on, Sean. Hold, hold on, Sean. Because we, we got some things to, 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 to discuss and, and, and take a, a bit of a deeper dive. Um, <sighs> I, wish, I wish Cardi being offset the best. 
you know, um, I, I wish them the best. Um, right now, we ain't talking about it and going too far on it. I just want to acknowledge it. I just wish them the best because at some point in time, um, we, we, we got to step away from what's normal and start doing something different and better because our families are attached to it, our businesses are attached to mm -hmm. it. You know, mm -hmm. um, I really, I'm a real firm believer that family is bigger than just, <clears throat> family sounds like something different and is bigger than just um, being, um, not, not um, being faithful. You know what I'm saying? When you're faithful, it's not you're faithful to your significant other, it's you're faithful to your children. Mm. When you're talking about being faithful, you're talking about being faithful to a promise that you made to each other. Mm. When you're talking about being faithful, we're talking about being faithful to your businesses and everything else that's mm -hmm. attached to that union that you guys are, are entering. You get what I'm saying? So when, you, when, when, when we start talking about infidelity, infidelity is knowing that, you know, you're in a committed relationship, but you're doing something else with your business. You're not rising to the occasion for your kids, right? You might be faithful to your significant other, but if you're a deadbeat and you ain't helping out with them kids, I think that's broken promises and should be classified as infidelity as well, right? So at some point in time, and this is what I'm talking about, we having a bigger conversation. My narrative and what I'm trying to get across in the agenda is talking about being a man. So when I'm leaning in on Cam and I'm saying he wrong, I understand what y'all saying, what the viewers are listening to, but I'm talking about for, for, forget everything and everyone. I'm talking about just manhood. I'm talking about just being a man. Mm -hmm. We got to rise to the occasion because more often than not, yep. they're looking at us for our leadership mm -hmm. and we can't set the tone and lead anyone anywhere if we're not leading by example. Yep. So as a man, I'm not only faithful to my significant other, I'm being faithful to the other women that's watching, right? I gotta set the tone. This is why I love Russell Wilson. Mm -hmm. This is why I think he's a simp, but that's besides the point. Mm -hmm. I still love what he does and, and how he rises to the occasion for Sierra, right? The same thing with um, who else we talked about? Yo Gotti, right? I love mm -hmm. how he manifests that. Um, I wanna have a conversation real quick I don't know if it's going to be real. Matter of fact, everybody else. <laughs> Hoodies up. All right, let's end Broadway. it up real quick. Um, what's up, Sean? I, I just wanted to say one thing before we left that. Cam, in the same <laughs> statement, in the same statement that he went in on Melissa, asked for forgiveness from Nori because he wilded it out the same way she did. Mm. In what sense? And, Tell the viewers cause, that because because he took he took something that Nori said according to what he said the wrong way and he's like yo if she if he genuinely mean it I gotta I'm gonna apologize publicly to him because he told me I never apologize publicly to him so I'm saying this apology and he wanted that grace from Nori but didn't want to extend that grace to Melissa. Oh. I think I remember that too. Yeah. Yeah, two separate things. But 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 they they in, they they in the room saying there's two different things. Um, I'm listen sure though, no, listen, listen, did not listen, call listen. Him a child molester though, so that's a whole different ball game. You can't ask for grace for something like that. I'm not giving you none. Right. All right. No. Hours. No. It was all right. All right, called, guys, 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 guys. We're moving on. <laughs> My fault, my fault. No, no, you're you good, know. you're good. You're good because once once I give, let, let you go, Sean, the Taja go jump in, Penny go and think about something else that she forgot to say. Um, right. Um, what a lovely tree. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Allison. Thank you, thank you. Um, oh, man. I want to play something for you guys if that's okay. Okay. I want to play something for you guys. Clubhouse, you're going to have to listen intensely. Oh my God, live on Broadway podcast. <laughs> I love it here. I love it here. Um, oh, oh, nope, that's not it. Okay, here we go. Nope, that's not it neither. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh man, let me turn the volume up so you guys can hear this clearly because I'm not playing this more. I'm only going to play this one time. Oh, you need a wig. Here we 
Here we go. I'm by my ears. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'll see what it is because I got mad stuff going on on this device. Um, all right, I think it's right here. Um, no, what's up? Why it's not? Hold on. Don't you guys still? Mm-hmm. We good. Pandemic with this. All right, here we go. We are in a fucking crisis, a pandemic with this single mother and shit. But it is a proven fact that single mother households produce the worst product. Facts. It's a fact. fact yeah. If you take two parent households, single father household, single mother household, statistically based on facts, yep. the household with the woman heading it by herself produces the worst product. And for our people, for black people, for African-American people, those single mother households are the reason why prisons are filled with a good majority of our You're 100% people, right? right. So these are facts. You yep. sit this on the table. Here go the fact. And then you say, so y'all need to start valuing men being involved in the lives of your children. I can't make you be with your baby daddy or we can't say that somebody has to stay with somebody because we know that children are being born out of situations where the two people aren't healthy together. Yeah. But you having access to a man and a woman during your upbringing needs to be brought back. I, I, I got to laugh when I say this because, you know, the females get so mad. One more time for the one time because I'm not playing this more than this. We are in a fucking crisis, a pandemic with this single mother and shit. But it is a proven fact that single mother households produce the worst product. Facts. It's a fact. fact. Yeah. If you take two parent households, single father household, single mother household, statistically based on facts, yep. the household with the woman heading it by herself produces the worst product. And for our people, for black people, for African-American people, those single mother households are the reason why prisons are filled with a good majority of our you are 100% people, right? right? So these are facts. You yep. sit this on the table. Here go the fact. And then you say, so y'all need to start valuing men being involved in the lives of your children. I can't make you be with your baby daddy or we can't say that somebody has to stay with somebody because we know that children are being born out of situations where the two people aren't healthy together. Yeah. But you having access to a man and a woman during your upbringing needs to be brought back. I, I, I got to laugh when I say this because, you know, the females get so mad. <sighs> <laughs> everyone, does everyone have their glasses on? Does everyone have their, their hoods on? We want to have a conversation about, simply put, you can't teach a bastard how to be a husband. <laughs> Statistically, they saying 70, 72% of children that are raised in single parent households Single mother fin- households. Single Thank you. Statistically, 72% of children raised in single mother households has the worst outcome. Okay. <laughs> mic up, mic up, mic up, mic up, mic up. I'll let you guys know when it's okay to speak. I want to be very clear on a conversation we have in here. If you weren't married, this is going to touch a lot. Hey, listen. Listen. I'm telling you right now. It's okay to say nothing. (laughs) I'm not talking about those that was married before. 
I'm not talking about those that gave marriage an effort and a try and the marriage didn't work out. This is not, this is excluding mothers that was married. It's a different context and a different tonality when you start looking it up and yeah. So, oh, y'all niggas got on y'all hood, y'all glasses. You look like you sweating and perspiring. Can we get some napkins to the table, to the, um, to the, to the studio? So the question that we have in the conversation today is simply twofold. Do single mothers raise the worst kids? I'm going to go to Taja first, because I saw she popped off her mic, I believe. Talk to me, Queen. All right, now, this has literally been something that I've been talking about for the last few years. I do believe that women who are raising children these days are not doing a great job because they don't want to take the time to raise the children. You don't want to discipline them. You don't want to guide them. You don't want to do nothing. Really, what you want to do is you want to complain about a man that's not there. You want to, co you want to blame everything in society for this kid being screwed up instead of you taking the responsibility. Because guess what? Whether dad is there or not, everyone's coming to mom in that house. So one way or another, we are still the number one leaders in our household. And we have failed. Now it's all about WAP and hot girl summers and going out there and showing your ass and BBLs and everything else. It is no longer about raising these kids. And when women get back to the role that we were supposed to be getting into and not feminism, We'll get the family back. Park. Uh, Penny, I'm gonna let you okay. start. I'm, I'm gonna let you because I know I you you go, girl. I, I know how this is gonna go. Um, go ahead, Penny. So my whole thing to this, and these could be rhetorical questions or they could be things that um you know you think on. So. When we say statistically, where are these stats coming from? Number one. Number two, when we say worst outcome, what are we classifying as worst outcome? Are we saying they in prison? Are we saying single mothers who raise kids, the kids go to prison, they can't read? Like what are the what are the qualifying classifications that we're gonna say makes them the worst outcome? So that's rhetorical because clearly the, nobody you didn't present that, so clearly the information's not there. So now, um, what I'm going to say is my response right now is pretty much um, responded to what Todd just said as well as to the clip that I heard. So, you know, one, I feel like I feel like people don't understand that there's a difference between real life and social media. Mm -hmm. Like people look at some women doing certain stuff on social media and then they want to use that to say that well these mothers ain't raising these kids or they not doing good with these kids and I don't feel like that's a fair assumption or a fair correlation because social media is one thing and then in a, in a household and things like that is a different thing now if you a teacher and you work in an inner city um, and you work in an inner city community and you know like <clears throat> and you know exactly that these kids is not getting this or they're not getting that like I can understand where that's coming from. But if we use a social media with people in their homes mm -hmm. or people not being parents, mm -hmm. I don't feel like that's I don't feel like that's a credible source to say well these these women are not raising their kids or they're not doing good by these kids. I think that, you know, I think a lot of people, especially black women, they enable black men. It they say it's okay that the black man's not there, he's not in the household, everything is on a mother. And that's just been a part of our culture. Hold and on. we constantly, constantly put everything on a mother. Hold but on, guess hold what? on, hold on, not, no, hold on. P Penny, at, and at what point do, do you hear, and, 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 I'm look, and maybe this is a learning moment for myself, I'm fine with that, um, that it's okay for a black man to not be there. So honestly, that ha that's always the rhetoric. Because, and the reason why I say this is always the rhetoric, because where, where are you butt, quantifying? Where always you, so, is a big word. Oh, clubhouse. Dude. Okay, so you Hold know on. what? Taja just said in a statement that she said, she said it don't matter. She said she said something about it don't matter that it's only the women. So uh, she's not the only person. And at the end of the day, P Penny. it's constantly P Penny. being talked about how Penny. It, 
Penny, I'm asking. Can you, I answer the question, or you like? I don't, I, I, I'm I, trying I, to get it out, and y'all. No, I, I mean for for me, I need you to get to the like. I'm asking you a very direct question. And I answered it directly. No, I just I, I gave you one example. The, I gave you one example how Taja just the, sat here and basically justified that it's okay. Um, because it's it, it, she no, basically justified that, that it's okay. Penny, 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 hold on. Can we run back to Penny? Penny, hold on, hold on. The question that I'm asking, I do not feel, I do not believe that you answered it. So I'm gonna ask it again. The question is, you said that they make it okay for black men to not be in the household. I'm asking you, who? Point blank. Society, black society. They all, and, and I'm gonna give you an example. Mm -hmm. The same, and, and you've talked about it in your rooms, or. And not just you, but people have talked about it in your room. So the idea of the person that always... Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 Who is society? I just said the black community. So, so the black community Where? makes it okay. Why? You want to know why? Because they always say if a woman gets pregnant and a nigga tell her he don't want the baby, if she have it, it's her fault. Let's wake it up, it. Naisha. I mean, Penny. Well, hold on, wait, that's, wait, that's, Penny. That's, Let's that's, wake it up tonight. Because hold on, Penny. Point. Penny, hold on, Penny. Because I'm going to wake it up. I'm going to wake it up. It's not society. It's women that make it okay for other... Men tonight, it's women. Y'all, y'all, you, it's you guys that's saying he don't Preach. need to be. Hold on, stop. I got you. I promise you. It's you guys that's saying that. You guys are painting the narrative and making it okay for other women to be okay with not having a man in the household. So when I say who, it's not society, it's women. That's making it okay to say, yeah, girl, you can do all, you can do bad by yourself. Go get it, girl. You don't need no N-I-G-G-A -G 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 for nothing. You could go do it yourself. It's women that's making it okay. It's not men. Amen. Amen. It's not men. So when I it ask you, hold men. on, so hold on, Queen. So when I ask you a direct question as to something that you said, which is society is they're making it okay for men to not be in a household and you pop off your mic and you say society, I call cap. Hold the women accountable and say, uh -uh. women, hold on, Penny, and maybe, and, 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 and maybe, maybe, don't, don't confuse my, my, my octave and tonality for being upset. It's just a bit of passion because I feel like you didn't answer the question. Now, if you would have said women, I would have received that. If you would have said, hey, unfortunately, and excluded yourself and said, hey, some women, I would I would have received that, right? But all I'm saying is, is it's not society. It's women that you got, you see, so here's the thing. You guys, and I always come on this platform and I say that I'm a big jealous. I am, and that's real talk. Right, because you guys do a great job as, at, at giving you guys support and pouring into one another, so forth and so on. But when support goes wrong is when you guys start giving each other a false sense of entitlement. Like, you can do it by yourself. You can't. You can't. And I'm not even saying whether or not I agree or disagree with that clip that was played. I'm going to hold off on my POV. I'm just saying that, simply put, Ladies, you guys be giving this false idea of can do it by yourself. Where do independent women come from? Independent women. Independent, independent women. Exactly. Women, that, that, that's a y'all thing. So now when you force to carry the load by yourself, why? What I said a few pods ago, somebody, Allison, you guys are cool with victimhood. And I'm not, I, listen, I, 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 I'm just saying, it just is what it is. You guys are okay with the victim-like mentality because more often than not, when y'all car get broke down, the, the, the nail jumped in the middle of the street and gave me a flat tire. You didn't run over the nail. The nail jumped into the street and gave you a flat tire. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm a digress, though. I'm going to share the wealth. Um, let's get it from the room. Um, Ruby, tap in with me. Nah, she might have to go last. All right, cool. Then let me get it from D. Last. <laughs> All right, time for this. So, I like I like the little discourse you and Penny about the 
you and Penny had about the society. Because uh, society kills me because I know for 100% sure that there's not a white, Asian, Indian, African, whoever family sitting around plotting on and making us do some of the stuff that we do and post on social media because I see it every day. And I don't see them behind holding the cameras and, 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 and laughing and, and giggling. I'd be on the trains watching the shuck and jive, the little kids be disrespectful to women, the little, I see it all, right? I, I'm in the school system, I see it all. So now I'm, I got different perspectives and I, it all comes back to win, lose, or draw, if a man steps out of the household for whatever, be it infidelity or anything outside of abuse, oh, you just don't want to be with him no more, he's still going to get hit for child support and he's still going to be labeled as the bad guy in the situation. In society, men do this. I cannot believe that being a father and knowing how I feel about my son long distance that all of these men just decided to just up and leave and just say, you know what, I just don't want to do this. I'm out. And I want to leave this whole situation to crash and burn. Without the help of a, maybe a little push from a disrespectful, irresponsible, I don't want you here no more because I got my other dude up the block that I need to come over, so you got to get the F out type of chick. Like, there's those, there's those chicks. But it seems like when these conversations come up, like, they get, they, we forget about those ones. Like, nah, every, all the women are good now. Like, the, they all d deserve to be married and, and, and coupled up. And no, right. some of them deserve to be alone. Mm -hmm. Some of them deserve to be alone. Y'all be knowing the ones. So, Y'all be knowing the ones that need to be alone. But when it comes to the whole group conversation like this, it becomes man versus woman and not right versus wrong. And I don't like that. I don't like that. And I just oh, want to I just want to throw some salt in this game right here. talking about the kids though. Like y'all talking about men and women. The women could be alone, but it's not okay for you to leave them kids alone cuz I like that's the thing. Like yeah, some women deserve to be alone, but them kids don't deserve to be left alone. Yeah, but that's she got what, the key. But Penny, could we please remember that a lot of these fathers cuz I know way too many fathers out there right now who want to be with their children, especially black men. Trying. And it's a woman that is torturing their damn lives, keeping them away from their kids. Oh, well, if you don't do this and you don't do that, and if you don't satisfy me, and if you don't give me attention, if you don't do this shit to me, then your kid suffers. A lot of the trouble the children are going through today okay. is because of women. Okay. And women, I don't give a uh, crap's ass uh, if y'all want to keep playing victims. I don't feel sorry for us anymore. All that, oh, and men in this and men in that. No, we're the fucking ones raising these men. We're the ones that's feeding them. We're the ones that are telling them what to wear, what to do. They have to have this amount of money. They got to be wearing this. They got to drive that. They got to do all that. We're the ones telling them all this shit. We're the ones driving the, 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 the gate here. And we are failing because we do not want to hold each other responsible and accountable when we see each other do stupid shit. Tap in with me, Lala. So, 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 so. Lala, I, 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 I noticed you standing now. I, I noticed you, 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 you were standing. Because, because I, don't, I don't like what I heard. Uh, Which part? Not Taja. The not um, Penny. Penny. Okay, yeah. Penny, sorry, I'm just I'm gathering thoughts as I'm about to to blast off. So th so this is my issue, right? So my issue is exactly what Taja was saying. I don't like how there are some, not all women, sure, some women that do exactly just that, and it's not fair to you. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to you. Scrooge, you, it's not fair to my father, you know what I'm saying? God rest the dead, it's not fair to my brother, it's not fair to my friends, it's not fair to whomever. I'm over it. I'm over this shit. Mm. I'm sick and tired of just because the relationship did not work out in the manner of which you wanted it to work out, then these children have to suffer. Mm. Because I see it day in and day out. Mm. I'm over it. So then let's take my kids, right? I have three. I have a set of twins and my eldest, right? My oh, eldest was ma my eldest was created out of wedlock, okay? The twins, I was married. We are divorced. Okay. Okay? Cool. Say less. The eldest one, I made it a point that when he did not want to be in my daughter's life, okay. I let him live. I did what I needed to do. I wasn't on no all the ladies independent. I just did what I needed to do. Yeah. I knew that he was dealing with some some stuff. 
I'm stuff. not going to put his stuff out there, but he was dealing with some stuff. When he came back, I was like, she is available to you. Mm. Here she is. Go. Take her. Take her to Disney World. I don't care what you do. Do something with her because that is your child. We made her together. We're going to co-parent together. No matter what my situation is, no matter what your situation is, no matter how much you feel about me, no matter how much I feel about you, it's about her. It's about Sire. Nobody else. Me and you don't matter. That is my energy today. Mm. When, when she had a situation just last month at school about something with the, the principal or whatever, we don't even speak. Mm. But we came together as a force. All right, you, who pulling up first, me or you? Oh, we're going to go to the parent conference. We're going to do da 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 because I don't like how they're doing sire. Tell me the time. I'll be there. We're going to go as a united. F- That's how it needs to be. You understand? Mm-hmm. It don't matter about the relationship anymore. That's over. That's done. Get off it. Get off of it. You don't want his wee-wee. He don't want your pee-pee. Raise <laughs> the child. <laughs> because they suffer. And then it becomes a generational thing. Because if you can't show them a proper example of how to act as an adult, then they go into their relationships. And they fuck up their relationships. And it goes so cycle after cycle after cycle. I'm tired. I am tired of this shit. Yeah. Well Stuff said. happens in life. People cheat. People grow out of love. People don't want to be with each other anymore. We got COVID. I'm stuck in the house with you. I'm sick of looking at you. Mm-hmm. But it's about the kids. Period. Wake it so up. So I'm so sick and tired of, of me and Rube standing together like we Beyonce and Kelly. We independent when we know that these kids need a male figure. Yeah. They need it. They need it. I don't care if it's a brother. I don't care if it's an uncle. I don't care if it's a friend. They need it because they need to see healthy relationships in our park. Mic mm. drop. Mm. Uh, don't break my brother's stuff. I'll chime in. <laughs> I'll go for it, Jay. First thing I say is shout out to all the single moms uh, that's around, period. You know, like I said, that, that's a hard ass job. You know, I, I was raised a single mom. Thank God for my grandmother who raised me. You know, with her, that that's a big ass job. Um, like you said, that that's a big deal. Most dads, especially nowadays in twenty twenty three, if you go to most child support cases, you see nothing but dads in the audiences, and they're actually trying to petition to get custody or at least joint custody of the kids. So it's not like back in the days where we can find a nigga, we don't know where he's at. Say from like oh seven to now, it's a million dads, and I know a million dads is dope dads. He's a dope dad. I know him personally. He know me personally. Yeah, I know me. I'm with my kids all day, every day. But like you said, all this friends giving this shit started because they wasn't in no fucking relationships. You know, all that shit started. That shit's cute. It's cool. It's team cool and all. Like I said, yeah, women do have a hard ass Wait job. Wake that up. A hard ass job. However, ain't nothing like what Chris Rock said. I'm going to tell you daddy. That shit just switches everything. You could be all this fuck you, mommy. Daddy coming? You, you call dad? Why you call dad? And at the, uh, my kids' school, they say, you want to call mommy or call daddy? They be like, no, I'll call mommy. Don't call daddy. Because yeah. they already know it's a whole different time. I come with that Cam shit. How Cam was with me, why the fuck am I getting this call? I'm yeah. not, hey, it's okay. It's all right. Why the fuck you, am I here? You, you, you know what I like? You know what I like? And thank you for that wisdom that you guys just, just shared with us. Um, we're not talking about this. I'm only using it as an example. There was a clip running around with T.I. and King, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And T.I., I think it was on their show. And, and King had wanted to be an artist or something. And King was saying, yo, yeah. I want to be an artist. I want to be an artist. And T.I. was simply saying, yo, you're not ready. Mm-hmm. Right? He was saying, you're not ready. Mm-hmm. Right? And then the, the punchline wasn't even that. That the father was in the house. The punchline for me was when the women started to coddle him. And he said, stop coddling him. Mm -hmm. Let him Mm -hmm. be a young man and realize he needs to put in something to Mm -hmm. get something. Right? Now, that same situation happens Mm -hmm. minus T.I. God forbid out of that household. Mm-hmm. What ends up happening is, is you get a lot of young men that get raised up by these women and not too much on the single women. But 
what you, some single women, what ends up happening is you coddle these kids and now they grow up and they don't know how to be emotionally intelligent. Mm -hmm. I raised my hand. I was raised by a single mother, mm -hmm. right? And I had to learn. It took me forever in a day. And even sometimes today, I'm still learning how to navigate certain spaces. Why? Because I wasn't raised in a household with my father. Mm -hmm. I had to find outsources, right? to identify what a father and a man looks like, right? So imagine how much ahead or advanced I would have been if I would have had a father in the household, mm -hmm. right? So when you minus the father from household, you get a lot of women that's ending up with broken hearts, a lot of women that's getting dudes to do things because we're not, I'm not excluding myself, right? Mm -hmm. We are emotionally in, un, 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 unintelligent. Un, mm -hmm. Unintelligent. Unintelligent, right? Look, as I'm saying intelligent, I'm uneducated. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but you get a lot of men that's, that, that, that suffers from um, what you call that when you're, um, what you call, um, arrested development. A lot of men, we suffer from arrested development because... Our father figures isn't there, so uh -huh. we're learning late mm -hmm. for the thing that we should have learned earlier, right? Mm -hmm. So here's a quick story. Don't mean to bore y'all with my stories, right? There was a thing. I read this book, forgot the book. If you know, put it in the comments in the chat, right? Where there was a little boy. He went to school. He wanted to be a hockey player, right? So as he's going through his travels in life and trying to be a hockey player, there was two kids, excuse me. One kid was born a particular age and a particular time, mm -hmm. right? Another kid was born, there was it was a it was a plant conception, conceiving conception, plant conception, right? And the the father said, I want my kid to be a hockey player. Mm -hmm. He the plant conception, the kid goes to school, certain age, gets in certain place, and it works. Another person that, another father raised this kid, the, another, another father raises the kid, long story less long, goes to school, but it wasn't plant, mm -hmm. right? So now that kid goes to school. Don't you know, the kid that it was all plant and whatnot, he goes to school, and because it was planned, they said, all right, cool. If I want my kid to become a soccer, a soccer a, um, hockey player, I'm going to put him in the, in the grade above his age, mm -hmm. and then he can advance further. Mm -hmm. The other parents, they put their kid in hockey just by happenstance, mm -hmm. and the kid never advances. Why? Because there was no real plan for that kid. The kid just, they, they just did it off the fly. The kid likes hockey. They just did it, right? <laughs> I'm a firm believer that sometimes, and not all of the time, but when you plan some stuff, you 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 know Michael um, Michael Jackson, Joe Jackson, I was say, yeah. Serena, Venus Williams, mm -hmm. right? Matthew Matthew knows, right? Mm -hmm. We know a few good fathers that was hard on their kids, had intentions for their kids, and didn't just raise their kids. And they said, "Yo, my point aside, you sharing that story is to say that sometimes." Fathers, we have a different way of doing things. Going back to your narrative, um, your, your point of of, mm -hmm. of reference, Jay. When the father is called, it's way different from when the mother is called. Yeah. Right? Mothers, you guys, and maybe I didn't land my point with the T.I. point, but the only thing I'm saying is, is we can't coddle these kids. And statistics are, I mean, um, stats are stats. And when they say 72%, you can do with that what you will. I'm not here to say there aren't any single good mothers that's you might be a good mom. That's not what the comp, that's not what the conversation is about. It's not whether or not you are a good mom. Mm -hmm. It's about the trajectory of what that kid is going more often than not. That 72%, that kid not going to be raised with the is going to be raised inadequately. It's going to be raised with a certain amount of deficiency, right? You know how, like, they say go out in the sun between 12, um, morning in the sun in, the, in 12, mm -hmm. because you get the best amount of sun? Yeah. It's to say that if you are raised in a single-parent household, you have to realize that more often than not, 72%, there's a 72% chance that the kid is going to be raised in a 
with a certain amount of deficiency. I think that we got to do better. And I want to hear from, from Clubhouse in a moment, Sh um, Shanae, um, Shantae, excuse me, because I honestly believe that when you minus the, how the father from the household, we got to, when I say we, well, not me, but ladies, some ladies need to get out of the space of feeling like they can do it by themselves and believing. Matter of fact, I'm going to challenge all women, all single women, some single women that's raising these children to say and point and hold their girls accountable when they start screaming that real lack gift by, and you could do it by yourself. I N D E, like, that's a false narrative that we have to break that chain. I'm going to go to UJ, then I'm going to go to Clubhouse. I think the main movie that all, and I'm pretty sure all males are going to say that. First of all, shout out to the Kings that's on the Clubhouse and the fun stuff. Like I said, what I was saying what was, was passion, was had nothing to do with that. Like, it was real, like we just saying now, like, it has to be a method to the madness. Most males, all together, I'm pretty sure everybody agrees. Our favorite movie as a, as a male is Boys in the Hood. What happens is, mom couldn't handle him, which he did. You gotta go live with your father. I, I can't do it no more. Like I'm at the age now, I'm 42. I'm Laura Spitzburn. All my my son and my daughter's friends come over. Come here, come here. I'm break down every story. We didn't have that growing up, so we didn't know about the whole. Um, you gotta walk in the inside of the door. We didn't. I mean, inside of the, the sidewalk. You gotta open the door. We was just caught in the moment. We can't say we was wrong because we didn't know. We wasn't taught that. Some of us growing up. Some of us growing up. Like I, said, I was raised by my grandmother. Big shout out to my grandma Mabel. You know what I'm saying? So we can't fix something that we wasn't taught. Like, we didn't know how we supposed to protect our women or protect our moms, some of us. You know, there's certain things that you got you to gotta wing it and figure it out later on. Or when you met somebody older, like I went to say Broadway house, his uncle or his, his cousin schooled us. Like, Broadway went to my house. My older, my older brother's name was Rick. There's certain right, things right. he learned from that male figure that you know. DWI has been my older brother since like 102 years now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, you old. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff I didn't know. And so I got older, like, oh, that's what that shit really was. And, and mm. I appreciate that. So it don't got to be even just a father figure, just a male figure, brother, uncle, cousin, even somewhere in the building. So shout out to that. Um, D, you've been holding the mic. I want to hear what you got to say to that. Then I want to get yeah. it from the ladies because yeah. there's been too many men speaking. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, this is a man topic right now because we bashing the men. So we got we to stand in one front like the women do. <laughs> um, but no, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying that's this is what the topic is about us being, you know, not doing something. I, I feel like there's been a lot, there's been more than enough men that I've seen, whether they was hustlers or whatever however they was doing, teach me how to appropriately treat women. Even if they was doing the totally opposite of whatever they was doing, but they still led with don't do it. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Type of thing. And mm -hmm. and, and though that that helped me because as as, as Gray just said about you know standing on the outside of the curb. Those are things I just heard and it was cool to hear. Mm -hmm. And it was like oh that women like that. Everything that women like when I was younger, I was doing. I was mm -hmm. the guy that I'm gonna adjust myself so that women yep. could separate me from the, the from thug them. dude. Like, oh uh -huh. no, you know how to hold Wake the door, or you know how to do. So I got, I, I got men, and I have two sisters and a Wake grandma, that up. And aunts, cousins, nieces. Mm -hmm. So there's no disrespect for women, but I'm still a single father. I still didn't stay with my son's mother, and that wasn't because I wanted to be a single father. It's because the relationship would have been worse. Me mm -hmm. staying there at that time because we just really couldn't get on the same page. Turmoil. Yeah. Love your kid. My, my older dudes on, on radio said, love your kids more than you hate the other person. They told mm -hmm. me that when we used to be radio showing uh -huh. early. And I, I was at her neck. We was going to court and all this Canada court. I'm mm -hmm. traveling, sleeping on the couch, sleeping in my car. I'm doing the most. And mm -hmm. she's like, she don't hate me, but she hates the fact that the situation is what it is. And she don't know me that well, so she's dealing with it the best that she could. I yep. say all that to say, once all that clears and you start to really think about the situation, me and her are like this now to the yep. point where the, mm -hmm. for th he's 12 years old. For the, for the first three years, was crazy. The next three, I made sure that I mm -hmm. listened to that. Don't never hate the other person more than you love the, your, your child. So I started focusing on him, telling her, like, all right, what we got to do to make sure he's good? I never missed a day. I never missed a birthday. I never missed a Christmas until COVID. I was direct. Yeah, y'all see me going back and forth across the border every yep. other month. Boom, boom, boom. People give me a lot of credit for that. Oh, my baby father lived up the block and he won't come around the corner in Brooklyn. That got nothing to do. I'm not doing this for that. And they they'll do that to make it a, a correlation. It's not no. What we need to do is find out what's 
are they are they understanding that love the kid more than they they mm -hmm. they hate the other person? Are yeah. you stopping them? Like, are we not gonna argue today? Can we take care of these kids? Because I think a lot of people participate in the the the, the toxic part of it. And yeah. now, you know, obviously, at, but if you don't notice, and as you age, certain don't give a f's start to fall off, and that's just what it is. If you look yeah. at your parents, they don't beat your your their grandkids like they beat your ass mm -hmm. because they don't care no more. So it's the same thing's gonna happen to you. You're too tired to be chasing grown ass people around. That's what my grandmother used to say to us. Because she raised my two uncles that were seven years older than me and five years older than me. Them dudes was wearing bubble goose and, and, and shell toes bombing on trains. So, and she was worrying about them. But now, hey, I come, you know, what, seven or five years younger. She's like, oh, I'm not doing this again. So I have my uncles. So mm -hmm. let me ask you something, right, D? And, and I, I want to share the wealth with the ladies. Apologies yeah. if we isolate you guys out. Um, my question to you directly is... When a young lady, when the clip that I just played, mm -hmm. right, seventy-two percent kids or whatever have you, um, trying to think about the best way of asking this on air. Um, how does that make you feel, understanding and knowing what your situation was in part, partially is? How does is there any? Do, do you think that what she's saying is any credence to that? So this is the this is the correlation that I have before I get into what you just asked. The correlation I have with the scenario that, that we're saying, can women, or what's the, what's the statistics of women raising 72% kids? 72% of it's like single me going parent to play house, single a game, mother household. A game of basketball, I got the right sneakers on, but I don't have socks on. Yeah, I can do it, but at the end of the game, my feet are going to be hurting. Mm. So what I'm saying is, mm. you, it could be done, but it's just not going to be yeah. comfortable. Uh -huh. And that's mm. what that's what men make men of the socks mm -hmm. because women still do what they do. If a man was still there, a man would still go to work. A man would still go to work and come home. So the the, the time at home is not going to change. Like it might even be less, but it's just the fact that he's coming home to reinforce that the socks. The socks. Like, yeah. That's a without, great analogy. Yeah, because I think your feet rubbing around in sneakers without socks, yeah, you could get busy for a little while, but your feet going to start sweating and hurting and whatever, you know what I mean? So that's how I think about it. So I, I really think that it doesn't be a problem because there's some women that do a really good job at it, but there's just, especially raising boys, like there's just a certain level after it gets to a certain point that they just need a man in their life. No matter how much they love their mother and their mother's guiding them, women know, just like women can't control their man, like little kid, little boys from 12 to like 17 are crazy. They're like kamikaze. They hmm. just jumping off the, they jumping off of cliffs, running into walls, like, and some women <laughs> just don't understand that because they're women. Like, they just yeah. don't get it. Like, why are you banging your head against the wall? Why would you play ball, you know what I mean? Why <laughs> would you chromosome. play ball with, 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 with clogs on or whatever, like? You know what I mean? Some some things that men and women are just different at. And so I think that's where that it becomes like, I'm going to go tell your father. Because I get that too. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm on the phone with my son. He's crying now. But he wasn't crying before. And when I be telling his mother, and I'll give y'all this, like, she be like, oh, he should learn this and he should do it. I said, no. What's going to happen is I'm going to tell him what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. When he doesn't do it, he going to have to figure it out now. Yep. He's going to have to make, since he's 12 and he want to make decisions, don't bail him out. Yep. Let them figure it out. F around and find out. And just know we're going to be there for you after, but you're going to go through it. You got to go through it to get through it. 12, yeah. they know and everything. Some women don't have that. We got a lot of intuition and all that, but they don't have that. Oh, because they want to make sure. Oh, no, I want to make sure you're okay. Now, nah, sometimes he's going to be okay. Let him walk the, that walk that walk. Yeah, we got that analogy. Like, usually when a child falls, they go boom. Usually the mom goes, oh, my God, oh, my God. And at that same time, when you fell, the kid looking at you to see your reaction. When a kid falls, they look at the dad, the dad like, get your dumb ass up. Oh, oh it's all right. Mama said, oh, you okay? You all right? Now the kid look at you and want to start crying. We will look like he was good a minute ago until you said so, something. And I'm going to you next, Lala. Um, I'm not a woman, but I understand that. I, I, I understand that, right? Because yeah. you don't want your kid, and, and ladies, y'all correct me, Lala, you will next. Um, you don't want your kid, you want your kid to feel loved. You want them to feel compassion. You want them to know that you care for them, okay. right? So mm -hmm. when they fall, it's almost like, oh, my God, you okay? You, you all right? And, and that motherly instance kick, kick, kick in, mm -hmm. right? I often use this analogy in my real life, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, baby, you love me? 
All right, you love me. You 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 here with me for a reason. Okay, for whatever reason you fell in love with me, right? I'm sure that you want certain things to be embedded into our children, right? So if you love me to a certain extent and love certain things about me, this is how I became how mm -hmm. I became. So maybe when my when our kid falls, I'm like, hold on, babe, just just let him figure it out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And but but babe, but he's crying and he's hold on, babe, just let him figure it out. Mm -hmm. But and then God forbid if that became a tussle in the back and forth, mm -hmm. it becomes, babe, you love me, right? So if you love me, and this is how I became who I am, mm -hmm. and I had to learn it and get it the hard way, my mom would have ran. My mom not would have. Mm -hmm. She ran to me and helped me out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And as a man, you grow up and you realize, I love you, mom, for that, right? But I could have did without it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? La la, flow on you. Sometimes I feel like I'm an anomaly. <laughs> I do. You gonna leave I, that nigga right there crying? I did. I, <laughs> yeah. I did. Um, I mean, you know, initially when he was starting out, I would be like, uh, you know. But my situation was a little different with my son because, you know, his father was fighting, you know, stuff. Stuff. Yeah. Um, he was in, the, you know, he was stuff. in the military, mm -hmm. so. I had I had to take on both a masculine and a feminine role with my son. Mm. Um, so there were times where I would have to have those conversations with my ex husband. Like, how do I navigate this? Because I don't I've never had a son. <laughs> you had a son, so but not me, right? So I don't know what to do. Mm. So I would glean for guidance. So, okay, well, when this situation happens, do this. And then, you know, that helped me. Even as we separated, like, okay, um, are you done now? Can you stop crying? <laughs> because yep. does that, does that, it, does all of this and take all of that? Mm -hmm. No, mommy. Okay, so cool. So let's move on to something else because you mm -hmm. don't need all of this emotion. I want you to feel your feelings, right? They're valid, mm -hmm. but I need you to temper them as well. So with that being said, I don't coddle my son. I don't. I can't. Not in not in this society. Not in this climate. Because yeah. he'll be a he'll be a marshmallow outside if I let him do what you know he needs to do. And but the point that I was gonna make was when you went to the video, you you made the reference to the the seventy two percent bullshit. Everything that lady said was bullshit, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm living proof. So two examples make a story less long. My brothers, my younger brothers had my father and their mom in the same household. And then it was me, my sister, and my mom, right? Two totally different life trajectories. Now, my father was not, he was in and out, but, you know, my parents were not together. So it was just my mother and my grandmother, right? But my brother had consistent uh, male presence mm -hmm. his whole life now you all know what i do right mm -hmm. i'm a what scientist. scientist okay cool ask me what my brother does rapper oh, no. scripper <laughs> he's in prison oh. no but that's but he but they knew what he was doing they see the problem the but here's the problem, right? And you made this point, the coddling. Mm -hmm. Because my father would say, don't do that. And his mother would be like, no, but da -da 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 -da. And then it became a thing to the point where he got tired. Well, let me show you something just real quick. Without you going too far in it, I can rest assured, and I bet you nine out of 10, it's a fact that the mother had a louder presence in that situation than the father. Is that right? What do you mean? Meaning, if he might have been a man, but she was the head of the household. The alpha. The mm. alpha. Is that accurate? Mm. No, because my father would put his foot down and say, oh, don't let little but After boo -boo. how long did he put his foot down? Because all the time. All the but, time. She, okay. but she would do whatever she wanted. That was the problem. 
But that's what just, I'm saying. Oh, I see what that's you're saying now. Then, yeah. 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 That, that, that's like, what she, she would just go behind his back. Yeah. And yes. then he'll find out later, and then it became right. a thing. So, right. yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because not out of, and, and I'm not saying nothing is, is you guys have your presence. You guys bring tremendous value to anything you guys is, you Hell guys yeah. touch. Yeah. That, that, that idea in saying, um, um, uh, what's that, um, touch it and it becomes gold, that right. comes from you guys. But like, the relationship you guys I, touch, was different, though, you, with my mom, because if my mom would talk to my father about me, she would listen. Whereas in his house, it was like the opposite. So Well, you dealing with a male and you dealing with a female. Results. And there's certain things going back, we're not talking about this, going back to the Cam and <laughs> Melissa situation, you know, there's certain things that we, 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 we give concessions to, certain concessions and easy passes we give to you guys, right? And certain concessions and easy passes we don't give to the boys. Right, so there's certain things that 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 little kids get a pass on. My, I was raised in a household where 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 it was it was ultimately um, three of us. I had I had cousins, right, mm -hmm. and and my male cousin was coddled. My male cousin was coddled, right. He had everything. He had everything. Meaning he had the clothes, right? Yep. He, he had he, he had there. he had the women. He uh -huh. had he had the friends. He was the most popular, the most voted mm -hmm. to succeed. You understand what I'm saying? Ask me what I had. I had hand me downs. Mm -hmm. I had I had a foster care. I had I had I was molested. It was just a plethora of different things, right? Ask me where my cousin is today. Mm -hmm. No, okay. ask me. Where's Where's he? He at? God rest his soul, he passed away. Yep. Right? Love him no less, right? But sometimes when you're coddled, right, and you and, and you do a certain amount of coddling to these young kids, right, they grow up with that dependency on your parent. So you grown, but you still latched on to the, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So me, me, where I was forced to figure it out, go down the block around the corner, to look for it and figure it out and made a lot of mistakes, mm -hmm. right? But inside of those mistakes came to no need to ask me where I'm at today. If you know, you know. You get what I'm saying? But there's a beauty in every ugly. Mm -hmm. So that saying, laugh now, cry later, or cry now, laugh later, that's mm -hmm. what that is. Those that often start off with everything finish last. Those that start off last with nothing often finishes with everything. Mm -hmm. I was reading something um, recently, and they were saying that 70, that, not 72%, that <laughs> most C students are most likely to become entrepreneurs yep. and go out and rule the world. Mm -hmm. But they're C students. Mm -hmm. C students is about, what, 75 or less, right? Something like that? Yeah. 70, 75? 75, 70, yeah, between 70 and 75%. Yep. Right? Well, well, you get those that are valid Victorian, um, um, all of the accolades, all of the degree, all of the everything, and then what happens, right? Working retail. They end up working in retail, right? That's so, that. That, right. Yeah. So, 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 you know, um, um, my thoughts on this, on, on what the young lady said are simply this. I don't believe that it applies to everyone, right? I think that there are a lot of anomalies out here when it comes to single mothers. I understand her greater point and where she was going to with things, but I felt like it was a bit extreme, right? Because I don't believe that all mothers, single mothers, and when I say single mothers, I'm classifying that by those that's never been married to the person that they're raising their child with, right? That co-parenting atmosphere. I don't believe that she is accurate. The statistic might be a statistic. I'm not arguing that. Numbers are numbers. But the caveat is when you're raising a child, you still can raise a child not in the same household with the parent, but still insulate them with the right adult, adult opposite sex figure that needs to be around that child. Right, so when you do that, it's a little harder now because now you got to find the right uncle, not the one that's touching them. Mm -hmm. Right, you got to find with the kids. Wake that up, right? <laughs> you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta find the right people to keep around your child when 
it's supposed to be the mother or father that's mm -hmm. doing the extra thing. In this case, the father is supposed to be the father, right? I'm a prime example, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I'm speaking from a place of bias, I'm being, if I'm being transparent because of what my situation was, and maybe there's a bit of that there, but I'm also aware that um, not all m mothers raise children that, not all children that's raised in single mother households are ch sub subjected to the worst side to up. You know what I mean? So um, that's my point on it. I don't necessarily agree all in all through it through, but I understand her agenda and where she was going to with it. And I think that there's a lesson to be learned there. If you're listening to us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you're listening to us at, Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse, I think it's on us to do a better job at being available for our children. And I don't mean you. I mean putting the right people in those children's life to be there for them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it does take a village. Um, oh, man. Um, I'm Listen, I'm still ready to pie. Y'all look like y'all losing steam. What's happening? No, nobody losing steam. Everyone okay. is just listening. Okay, okay, everyone okay. Is, everyone is just listening. You're on cruise control. And, and I'm okay. listening. And I'm listening okay. to all y'all, and I'm listening uh, to the see, video. Why you started back up? And I'm, shut up, Jay Gray. Because, <laughs> you know, when I feel like when women say certain things to each other, yeah, you have certain women who shouldn't be giving advice. But I feel like when we do say... You can do it on your own. A lot of us are not saying you don't need that nigga. You could do it by yourself. We are not saying that. We are saying because when we have this plan in our head to have a family and, and we just have plans, period, and they don't go right, we fall apart. And we developed a habit of um, putting each other down. And, and since women are more loving, we do give each other the encouragement that you can do it. You can do it. You can, because there are days where I feel like I can't do this shit. Like, y'all know me, and I don't care how much y'all see my kids doing good, there are days where I feel like I cannot do this shit. I need a pink slip. I need to turn in my two weeks notice. This parenting shit is not, I can't do it. And I love the fact that I have a village, whether it be, because it, it'll be men telling me I don't need a nigga too. So it's not, it's not just women. It's not just women saying it to me. It's, it's, it's men saying it to me as well, you know, and, it's a hard job. And if if y'all feel like with single women raising men have the highest or, or most fucked up children, yes. stop fucking leaving. Because a lot of y'all niggas are not getting pushed out. A lot of y'all niggas are fucking leaving. It's it's so easy for a man, not all men, please, if this don't apply. Let that shit fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. I know some great fathers. I'm in the room with great fathers. I was just praising my great father two weeks ago. Yep. So I'm not saying this is for all men, but a lot of these niggas are fucking voluntarily leaving and leaving us with no choice but to be single fucking parents. I literally begged my son's father to be in his life. I done got threatened to get shot up, stabbed, pushed off the roof. I done got disrespected in the most craziest, craziest, craziest manners. And still I said, what are we gonna do about this boy? I know, even with being raised around 100,000 dudes, 
I still know what I'm not capable of. And since I knew I wasn't capable of, I went to the person that I knew could help turn the situation around. But what do you do when that person says, I don't give a fuck? I, I don't care. What do, you, what do you do? What do you do? Do I go out and try to find somebody who can take that place? Because at the end of the day, yeah, you might find somebody and you might find just a fucking representative. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. You so, might so hold find on, hold somebody on, on. and you might find a representative. So oh. what we can't do is can't keep saying these these single women household are producing the most fucked up kids when 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 a lot of y'all niggas are the reason why this is a fucking single household. Well, 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 well hold on, Rube. Let me give a little bit of pushback on it. Of course, all the time. Because, you wouldn't be Broadway <laughs> if you didn't give pushback. Because, because 70% of women leave the relationship. Do they? No, they do. Do they? Who told you that? New York what, Times. What, what? New York, please on, pull up on, that hold article. On, hold on. I have it I, right I here. would love it. I'll show it to you after the I five. would hold love on, it. Hold on. What I'm saying is, is, and and I mean, right is right and wrong is wrong. It's, it's not, I'm not saying that that makes my argument better than yours, right? Because dudes, I got you. Because, because dudes, when dudes do leave relationships, and if I'm going according to that, that's about 24% of... 24% of, of, of men, then that means that 24% of men leave the relationship. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, is inside of our community, it, it probably becomes something totally different. I'm just using a, a, a broad mask of, of, of what it is, right? Because then the argument, and we've seen this happen so many times, so I don't want to wake up the sleeping giant because it's already woke up, right? Which is, I say, well, 70% of women leave the relationship, and then women go, then don't make us leave, right? We know how this narrative <laughs> goes, right? All I'm saying is, is, is I understand and agree with what you're saying to an extent, but on the other side to it, what it what it becomes is forget about who's leaving the relationship, right? It's about nobody would be leaving the relationship if you guys measured twice before y'all cut once and before y'all went ahead and decided to actually procreate, because that's what we're really talking about, right? Then there would be no leaving of the relationship because if you give it its time, then most often than not, it'll uh, it, 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 uh, it, uh, um, dis, um, dissipate. It's a di it, it'll dissipate. You know what I mean? A relationship will break up before there's a child that's involved. And I think that most often than, more often than not, what ends up happening in our community at least, a baby comes out of a situation before you guys actually stand the test of time to see if you guys are fit for one another. Yeah. And when that baby comes, y'all was never fit for each other. Y'all was always going to leave each other. If the relationship was doomed and never supposed to work, but y'all was on adult time doing adult things and adult ramifications came as a byproduct of those adult actions. So now you're going to say, don't leave the relationship, but we was never supposed to be together. The relationship broke up because you guys were making hate, hasty decisions inside of moments before y'all actually saw, do I even like, can I even live with you? Do I even um, 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 uh, like your mother? Do I like your family? Do I like this? Do I like that? We don't get to really experience those things because we're making permanent decisions in temporary situations. And then what ends up happening is what? We stuck between a rock and a hard place because now mm -hmm. you're saying, hey, yeah. why are you leaving this relationship? And he's saying, hey, why are you treating me so bad? Right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in a situation that you're treating me the worst end. And you might feel the same exact, or a woman might feel the same exact way. Oh, my violin at? What, do I have to, what, the, what does that have wow. to do with the kid? What, Everything. If, if, if the relationship deteriorates and, and somebody leaves, why do, why do you feel like because I left you or you left me, you have to leave my child? 
I got an answer. You want to let me answer? Why, 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 do you, why do you feel like, why do you feel, because my, my child has nothing to do with this. No, you're right. I'm not arguing that. So, what I'm saying is, is so your question is, is if we didn't work, going back to what Dee said a second ago, love your child more than you hate that person. That's the, that's the way it goes. Absolutely. Right? So the way that goes is, is now I want to be there or somebody wants to be there for their child. Mm -hmm. The relationship didn't work. Mm -hmm. So what Jay said and Dee said um, separately, but there's a lot of men that want to be there's a lot of men that, that want to be there, right? So now they go through the court system, right? Or now the mother start asking for child support or whatever the reason is, right? And even if, I forget, you guys will probably get to it sooner than I will. He makes a million dollars. She, he makes a quadrillion dollars. She wants 22 million as child support. Because that's the kid. So now the, the dude, and I'm going to show you the legal system. I'm going to show you how it all intertwines. The legal system starts pandering towards the woman, right? Feeling like, yo, because you're a woman and you're raising this kid and he makes a quadrillion dollars, now you're now you get $22 million to raise a kid. That the, the system falls fosters a wedge in between a relationship sometimes. How does it get there? Because the two parties that's involved can't. We're never supposed to be involved, so y'all have our different ideas on raising that child. Because y'all was never supposed to go to that, that extent of raising that child. Or even having a child together. You like blue. For whatever alpha, side figure, whatever that is, and then you got some people that pledge blue. You get some people that pledge red. Right? Now, I want my kid, let's keep it real. Some people are Christian. Some people are Jewish. Right. So now I want to raise my kid as a Christian. You want to raise our kid, our kid as a Jewish, mm -hmm. as, as the, under the Jewish faith. Right. We were never supposed to be together and get this far. Now we're here and now hard decisions need to be made. Yeah. So now when we get there, now the relationship dissipates uh -huh. and goes in these separate directions. And the point of the matter is for, fuck, forget the kid for the moment. We were never supposed to be. And before it becomes about the kid, it becomes about you and saying, yo, you wasn't supposed to make that decision to have sex and do adult things with this after adult kid, man. Though. After the kid, though. We what wasn't I'm supposed is, to be is, after the kid. There, there, there's a point of... there's a, After the kid. What I'm saying We're not is supposed to be you, after you the kid. You knew that, that before. What I'm saying is, is you would have known that we, he wasn't the right man to have a child with or he would have known she's not the right woman to have a child with if you would have did your, re, your, your recon work to see this ain't the right person for me to have a kid with. So we know that, that every day. That's and that's that's we we know that every why. day and we still sleep with them. Yeah. We still sleep with them. So why is it when we both know that we not supposed to be together, we not supposed to do anything and, and we break up now all of a sudden I have to get penalized like I didn't make the right fucking decision. Now I have to be called a whole terrible ass mother because we both made the decision to not be together because we knew we wasn't supposed to be together in the first place like it's never no fault on nobody else and then it it's, 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 not, it it's not there's it's never there's never a fucking topic on how men are so shitty that this is the reason why their kids are in jail that's never a fucking topic of conversation. Yes, it's it all, is. No, it's that not. Is. Stop standing on them big bees. No, it's fucking not. Yes, yes no, it is. No, it's not. Who who said that? Find me one person that sits there and hell holds a man accountable or who makes it a topic of conversation, especially on a podcast, that 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 a man is really not even at fault, but but he has something to fucking do with this. Nobody is always the fucking mother. You know mother. why, Ruby? It's always the mother. She'll you know sit there, cook, clean, do everything for them fucking kids, go to every fucking soccer game, take them to every doctor's appointment by herself. On the bus, rain, sleet, hell, fucking snow. And because it was something that I couldn't teach him, instead of y'all penalizing the nigga that wasn't there, who couldn't fucking teach, who could have taught him, but decided to not be there, y'all sit there and blame the person that was there. Fuck out of here. So, Fuck out of here. 
Shout out to Ruby. Ruby. And, y'all, and you better stay on topic when you say what you say. Do not go off topic. Right, Do not right, throw nothing right. that don't belong in there. I'm go listening. So exhibit A. So shout out to Ru- Ruby's part of the 28 who's actually amazing. I as don't know. Nah, right? Stop. Don't. She's that. So nah. go ahead, go ahead. I'm me being a dad, right? There's even, I'm part of dads to like years ago, me and my kid's mom, children's mom didn't get along. I went to court. Out for joint custody. A lot of dads don't do that. That's the first thing they fuck up. Facts. A lot of these dads, Ruby, anybody say, first thing it says, yo, I get this bitch over this money, I can't see my kid. My That's response terrible. is, dummy, go to the fucking courthouse, go file the paperwork and get joint custody. That's if right. you paying a thousand dollars to Ruby, guess what? You only have to pay uh, Ruby five hundred because the other half of the time you with the you fucking with the, kids. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A lot of dads don't know this shit because they're doing that. I got a lot of friends who say, you know what? I ain't got time for Ruby and her shit. I just give the money. That's your fault, nigga. This is something you won't know unless you're a parent. Like, a lot of people, they don't know this shit like no, this. No, 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 no. Hold on. When I, not this right. when I go to court, and I, like I said, I'm the one who signed the paperwork, went to the judge. Hey, judge, I don't want no problems with her. I don't want to argue with her. This piece of paper right here is my lawyer. Because what mothers, some mothers say, fuck you, you can't see the kid. People don't right. know is, once you get child support, or once you put that joint custody paper... I don't give a fuck what you say. It's what the judge says. You could say, she could say, Javon, I can't stand your ass. Guess what? You better be at 3 o'clock at that fucking precinct. (laughs) Guess what? You getting locked up, ladybug. That's right. They don't give a fuck about none of that motion shit. 3 o'clock, you sign this paper. If you don't have my son, little bro right here, you getting locked up at 3.05 or 3.30 the latest. A lot of dads (laughs) don't know this shit. That's that's eliminates a whole lot of argument. It becomes a real business transaction. I don't give a fuck if you don't like me, I don't like you. Three o'clock, be there with little bro. That eliminates a whole lot of situations altogether. All right, go ahead, La. No, I was just gonna piggyback off of him because. Look, I'm, I'm, hold on, time out. I'm confused. Ruby said something. You spoke after her. Mm-hmm. I want to know what's the point of contention because I don't. I didn't get that part from you. Hold on, go ahead, Jay. So it goes back to what she was saying. The one, there is a lot of thing was, but it is dope as that she said, who's a very small percentile, who is rising to become more than that 28 percentile. That, that goes back to your question was the percentage of guys who don't want to be there or do X, Y, and Z. Let's be clear. What her question, what, what she said, yeah. and where I'm giving resistance at. Yeah, yeah. She said that there's platforms mm-hmm. that men don't do the work, and men leave the relationship, and men don't get held accountable. So I'm asking you mm-hmm. a direct question. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that? So this is what I'm trying to answer. Sorry okay. for the long response. And you know that because you was part of this whole situation as far as I had situations with my kid's mom. We always argue back and forth. Sure. To where at the point to where I had my shit nice in her house and, and the closet sure. and the drawers and everything is fun. It gets to the point where most men will tell you, most big will tell you, our shit is in the garbage bag because we get tired. As soon as you walk the door, every little thing is... Get out. I got I had a friend to where he walk in the house, he goes to put the food in the microwave, you know, beep, beep, beep. She's like, the microwave's too loud. He's like, how the fuck am I gonna turn the volume down on the microwave? So what happens is we get tired of arguing over little shit like that, and we out. We get tired. As soon as we walk through the door, that's not the Ruby section. This is not her percentile. This is the other percentile that's wrong. Most guys that do leave, we tired of when we do try, it's never enough. Listen, listen. You can ask any guy on Clubhouse, ask any guy on Clubhouse yeah, right now. I'm we tripping. all got I'm that black tripping. garbage bag. What we got I'm that black is garbage is bag. <laughs> Our shit is in there. The microwave so is too loud. Door, is crazy. I swear to God. <laughs> That's crazy. I got well, another listen. one. I'll give you one oh, no, more. Wait, wait, wait. wait oh, last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I got one more. I'm to where my second kid's mom is, I'm living in her house, right? Because we working on being in a relationship. To where I, I come in the house, it's 10 o'clock, I turn TV on. They used to tell me, why you got that TV on? It's too bright in the room. My kid's going to sleep. I said, ain't nobody going to tell me I can't watch TV in the fucking house. At 10 o'clock, I'm trying to watch house. Kevin, Vo- Kevin, Kevin Hart voice, right? Guess what she did the next day? I came home at 10 o'clock. She took the fucking plug off the back of the TV. <laughs> yeah. I swear, it's a true story on my kids. They Sarah. make sure I never did again. Shit like that, we like, guys like, we out. So, 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 they become so, queen so, petty. Right. So, some so listen, some percentile on, on, become on, queen on. petty. I got it. I got it. I'm coming to you right now, Lala. Yeah, let him go. <laughs> um, she laughed because she said true. I, um, the reason why I... The reason... <clears throat> The reason why I give a lot of resistance to what Ruby said about not men not being held accountable is because I think that we live in a society where 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 um, most systems most systems um, judicial systems as it pertains to to women and and 
uh, let's be clear here, my point of reference is watching a lot of individuals like you two guys, is like watching a few, quite a few men I know off camera in situations you know, um, have to go through and experience some crazy situations. So um, I really think that most systems, not even most systems, I just think the world, and I'm going to wake it up and just say the world cater more to women. Mm -hmm. So when it, rather it's, rather it's, you know, um, it's a man's world, right? So, of course, I understand, what you call that word? Double standards? And I'm okay with the double standards. Mm -hmm. I understand that women get the easy pass in a lot of different things. And I also understand that if a man and a woman is going for the same position, I'm not crying, oh, woe is me, because... You motherfucking right. Be ha I hope I get the job before you do as a woman, <laughs> right? I, I really hope that I do. I don't care if you're more educated than I am. I'm cool with those double standards because mm -hmm. I don't question the double standards. I know what they are, and I'm fine with them. Yeah. So when Rube say, you know, um, um, what pods stand in front of most men being held accountable, I think that, I think that, I don't know if you guys know this or not, <laughs> but there's a shitload of women podcasts and platforms that I think even um, Penny uh, alluded to earlier. Um, whatever, whatever is high is equally as low, right? Mm -hmm. If you have, they say the depths of the sea has never been touched, right? Mm -hmm. They say the most highest of space have never been reached, right? So what is that? I'm talking about men and women. Everything that you guys go through and have on y'all side, that that that, that y'all points, and I'm not contesting any of it. It's valid and it's true. But my side is valid and true too. Mm -hmm. God damn it. We got mm -hmm. a whole <laughs> slew of different things on our side. That's why I don't really come on this pod. I mean, before I come on this pod and 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 start pandering to either side, I'll be trying to answer and wake up just the accountability portion of it. Right. Mm -hmm. At what point do we just hold ourselves accountable? Because there's no right or wrong with that. Right. If you did something wrong, you should be held accountable. If he did something wrong, you should be held accountable. Right. Mm -hmm. And once the person hold, and I'm like that in my real life, right? If you come to me and be like, yo, way, I messed up. My fault. Players mess up. I'm not, I'm not even entering those two names back into it. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, um, I be on time that's like, well, if you say you sorry, what's the point of keep going back and forth and fighting? Because you said I'm sorry. And don't do, don't, Larry David, um, Curve Your Enthusiasm, one of my favorite shows. This yeah. is not an ad. Don't be eating peanuts while you're saying you're sorry. Because I don't take it as being genuine. Mm -hmm. But if you say, yo, I messed up. Right? Mm -hmm. Yo, don't give him my money. Not <laughs> what I'm saying is, is in my real life, there hasn't been, and I don't eat some. I got real people right here in my real yep. life that it hasn't or it hasn't always been perfect, right? But when I mess up, when they mess up, we hold ourselves accountable and then yep. we move forward. And that's why there's a relationship to this day because we mess up. I haven't always been right, I haven't always been wrong. Right. And there's times where when we're right and we're wrong, I can't I'm not focused on you a woman. So what? You got a pussy. I got a dick. Fuck out of here. Right. But what I'm standing on the side of is, is how do you rise to the occasion when you're wrong? That's what I judge a person off. Right. right. That's right. what I judge a person off. Of. Respect it. You, you know, um, respect it. Um, go, go for it. Um, um, live. Call me mama bear. But that's fine. That's a compliment. Ruby, watch this. And then. To add to your point, oh, shit. they get mad, right? When would you say when when we find the the re, the replacement, the, the, replacement rep the representative? The representative. Yeah. You get mad when we find the representative. Now all of a sudden they want to come back. No, no, no. I'm the dad. Blah blah blah. Yo, what the? Fuck? Well, you know what that is. Um, I'm lying. I said this on the last last pod, and I don't really. It's wanna, just an example. I, I, I don't want to go too far in on it, but a lot of times we don't be ready for who y'all want us to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? We mm -hmm. don't be ready. That you was guys, me. That was you, me. Right. You guys mm -hmm. want us to be the head of household, lead, and we're trying to figure out our life. 
We're trying to figure out our life. I know that's what you want me to be. I'm, I'm, I'm not mature enough to say, baby, I'm not him yet. Yeah, but why but, you but not you, mature right, enough because, to not because shoot because this I'm pretty sure I can't hear both of y'all. Wait, I can't hear Exhibit both of y'all. Exhibit B. Right, say like, that again. Like, 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 so am I forcing you to do this or am oh. I holding you to what you're saying? Because yep. if you're dating me and you're saying, oh, I'm going to be the man and I'm going to be, I'm going to hold you accountable. To, I'm, I'm going to take you're your word right. for it. You're absolutely right. I got you. I understand. So, so you're if absolutely this is what right you're, in that. Right. So, so if this I'm is what you're saying that. to me, I, I want you to put the, the proof is in the pudding. Where's the pudding, sir? Right. You don't even have to I say anything. Spoon. Just off the simple fact that you shot my club up and now we got a situation. I'm holding you accountable. Right here right, in this have, moment. Because be I didn't accountable. make this baby by myself. Did you know he didn't have a condom on? We both knew that. We both knew that. That's yeah. the point. We both knew That's that. That's the so point. So we can't sit there and be like, oh, you know I ain't had no, con no condom on, so now you got to take the responsibility, and now you got to sit there. That's our and point. We're not doing mm -hmm. that. If we both had sex with each other, and we both did not use a condom, we both have to sit there and, equal and opportunity, yeah. we, we have yeah. to be equal in this. Yeah. Equal opportunity. Yeah. We, we, have, ahead, we have to be equal in this. Look at D. <laughs> Think about this. Go ahead, D. So. <laughs> yo. God, we listening because you have sleep yo, anyway. I had. Ducking and dodging. We listening. Sense. Wake that up. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Um, <clears throat> accountability, like. Like I said, I made a I made the statement. I was off mic and I said, "Why are you so cool right you're now?" You only because I, I be waiting. Like I'm so used to talking when I want to talk. I'm not used to this reserved, got you, got spoken you, got to you. type of conversation on live or Broadway. But it's cool. I got it. It's organized here. I'm not the boss over here. So, um, so you only mad because you got caught. Women say that to us all the time. Like you know, that's that's what it is. If, if you get caught a lot, um, I don't try to make. Women stand in front of nothing or say, "Oh, you know, we both had sex and you did. I didn't wear a condom and you knew I didn't have on a condom and you. So it's both our fault because we're in a situation where you're the carrier and we got nothing to do. Once it's done, it's like, ball, like we got to try to go home. Like we can't even like say nothing. Like that's just what it is because y'all. Unless you're fifty cent. Never mind. Oh, Just I'm not going to get canceled. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah. So right, I'm trying to have. A and with, with that being said, with that being said, I had I had a scenario. I want to say I had a scenario. I'm gonna leave it at. I had a scenario mm -hmm. where somebody that you know wanted to have a baby, mm -hmm. right? Wanted to have a baby, and you know. For for years we were dealing, and I just I just I went kamikaze when they were like, you know what? Me and her are cool enough that I would be all right if not. You know, if it, if it happened, I would just, this would be the end of the road for me. i just hold it down. Because she's not a bad, she's not a terrible person. She just got bad Harlem habits that she just has. I'm from the He's Bronx. Harlem. And we, we just don't, you know. Not too just, much on Harlem. They just want to be <laughs> fresh and fly and, and have a bad mouth, but don't really want to do nothing about it when it's time to pop off. Mm -hmm. um, that's not all Harlem, but that's just her. Right? So, and then literally the next morning, I'll be in the kitchen doing something. I'm cooking. I'm trying to do the right thing. After we done, we done had a went out in a blaze, Baby and boy. she's like, "Don't use the toilet tissue. Don't use this. Move this. Use this frying pan." And I'm just like, "Fuck that." Mm, I hope this comes back negative <laughs> because, <laughs> because, but but the the better part is the this is what I want to touch on. I'm big on understanding, and the fact that I understand that that's her bark is not really her bite. Because she's really, I really get my way with her when I when I want to. For again, eight or nine mm -hmm. years, it's been very mm -hmm. the same energy be consistent. I gotta call it what it is. So I wouldn't be like, oh, I don't want to be here now because of this. Because I know what I did. You yeah. know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, yo, you at some point you gotta change, yo. Like you being mad toxic for no reason to so somebody that's not being toxic towards you. And there's women out here that's like that. Some of us guys that's not really like, I'll knock your block off, Teresa. Type of dudes, you know what I mean? The women are, are push that push that line all the time. It's like, yo, just chill out. Not you know you don't want that. You don't Melissa treat the you don't treat you Larry and Joe like that. Shit. But the, yeah. you know what I mean? You are gonna treat me like that because you know that it ain't gonna be like that. The fact that you was okay 
But the fact that you was okay right. with shooting up the club and making her a mother with the with with the same breath, I know that wait, she wants to but have with a baby. the same breath that you said, oh, she only care about certain things and she don't care about important things and she only care about a bag. You're willing to make her a mother. No, oh, no, 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 that's not fair. Hold on, that's not fair. Hold on, that's I'm, she's I'm, very but responsible. I didn't get my point. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, you, I you, I you, you said you. That's what you led with. Yeah, she she she's could be a good flashy. mother, but yeah, you know she she's only concerned about this and she's concerned about that. You're willing to make her a mother with knowing that she doesn't have any important I'm doing her qualities in the world, but so with but, but would be, but would be willing to leave because she don't want you using the fucking I wouldn't tissue. Go far, though. Like that, I would just that, walk out the house. That like makes absolutely so positively no sense. Like yeah, I'll get you pregnant Let's even see. though I know you can't read and I know you ain't oh, gonna be no good. God. Person, wait, but wait. but I'm not gonna lock you up because you use the same spoon for peanut butter as you do in jelly, and I don't need to be I'm dealing with nobody. Right. Right. Wait, 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 because I know we got a good vibe, Listen, but then it'd be on. little things like the toilet tissue that would throw me off. Listen, hold on, hold on. So napkins would throw me off. So my issue becomes this, right? Simply, simply. <laughs> <laughs> because watch this, watch this, watch this. He's so stupid. There are a good portion of women that say I'm on the pill or that I can't get pregnant and then you oh. do the deal. Well, let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Please, please, please let me finish. Let me let me finish. There are there there are a good. Come on, bro. Listen, never mind. Come on. Hold on. Wait. Let me finish. Hold on. Hold on. One mic. Hold on. What they say in the court? Um um um. Strike that from the. Scrape that from the record. I don't need to <laughs> ask, ask it no more because it's already out there. But listen, um, let's answer final thoughts. Into final thoughts, there, there's a lot. Um, I, I, I'm only because my cast seem like they, they, they lack in Lester. You know, um, there's another whole two questions on the board. Um, but, but, but we'll get to it. Um, um, in a week or you so. One of the trigger single mothers. You know what happens when you do that? It takes two hours just to get through that. Listen. Um, that's it. The final <laughs> thoughts. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Um, Allison, you sat cute on mute the whole uh, pod, Queen. Um, Allison, I'm yeah. gonna go to you first, Queen, and you have an un unlimited time to get your stuff off, Queen. Go for it. Final <laughs> thoughts on take you. Your time to hurry up. Take, not take your time to hurry up. I don't have anything further to say other than what's been said, but I would like to petition for a title change and a raise because I created all of this madness. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Hey. Just let me hold twenty dollars when you get your raise. <laughs> let me hold something for the hoes get to. You. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> um, okay, okay. Um, Shanae, Shanae. Yeah. What's up with it? How you feel? Final thoughts on you. Final thought. Oh, she moves herself to. Oh, there she go. Okay. Um, final thoughts on you, Shanae. How you feel about the conversation? We talked about Ciara, Russell Wilson, Cam, and Melissa Ford. Uh, we also spoke about Cardi B offset. And the, the topic that really seemed to move and grind the gears this evening is you can't teach a bastard how to become a husband. Hello? <laughs> it's the Rocky bastard. Wow. Well, I'm, I missed a big portion of the conversation, but... I can give my submission to the title. I don't know what you guys are talking about as far as conversation, though. Like Cardi B and the people you named. All right, so let, let's just be clear. Do you, mm -hmm. do you agree or disagree that single mothers raise the worst children? I disagree. Okay. Thank you, Shanae. We appreciate you. Somebody push her down to the audience. Um, okay. We're going to stay... <laughs> Um, let's stick to the, um 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 Shanae, stick to the to the rivers and the lakes that you are used to. <laughs> um, we're gonna keep it in the room. Uh Ruby. Yes, Broadway. <laughs> What's up, Broadway? His, this is your wishes. Right, the final wild card. On you, Queen. The wild uh, card. Final thought. 
thoughts? Uh, Sierra and Russell, congratulations on the baby. Cam and Melissa, Melissa, do not, do not, do Chill not. Out. Chill out. Say shit that you know that cannot be retracted, especially to a man like Cameron Giles. This man has a whole podcast and every four <laughs> words is pause. He's clearly not mature. He clearly don't believe in apologies because he probably don't apologize to the people who he talk too crazy or do wrong. So accepting apologies is not his cup of Henny or Patron, whatever he drinks. He got uh, it. Got Angela it. and Yo Gotti, uh, they're freaking cute. I love it. I believe in their relationship. Uh, Cardi and Offset, whatever. Whatever. Uh, yeah, we, just, o- we over Cardi be too, and just, Yeah, it's, it's just be uh, too much going on. I'm, I'm more stressed out that Tiana and Iman is, is divorcing. Um, as far as I'm not. Um, single moms um, raising the worst uh, children, um, I don't agree with that. I, I do. I'm, I'm not going to sit there and say every single mother is the most perfect mother because... She tries so hard. I'm not going to say that because a lot of single mothers don't try. A lot of single mothers are okay with, you know, the... Mediocrity. Right, right. With the, oh, I don't have anybody here, so I can't do this. So whatever happens, happens. But Mm -hmm. as a single mother raising three children and one adopted, I'm not agreeing with that shit. Like I'm, I'm not, a, I'm totally, totally, totally not agreeing with that shit. I'm not saying that it's a hundred percent untrue. I'm, I just don't, ag- I don't agree with that number. I don't agree with that number. I don't agree with seventy two. But um, it is a tough situation, and I, and I do hope and wish that um, black families do get it together. Uh, black men and black women. Uh, I'm not sure who said it. Uh, someone said women need to get back into the role of, um, I guess, being mothers and, and wives. I forgot who said it. And I definitely yeah, agree I mean. with that. But we need a person to give us a reason to get into being in the role of being a good wife. And and give us we I don't have no problem being submissive to anybody, but you have to lead and you have to lead properly and you cannot lead me down the road. I cannot sit there and be submissive to you and and, and, and listen to everything that you say because you're a fucking man, because a lot of these niggas don't have it together. You know what I'm saying? Be an example. And and women will follow suit. Um, That's my that's cat. That's cap. That's it's not. Cap. It's not cap. Stop. 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 Why, Stop. why would I be a woman to a nigga that don't do shit? Why would I want to be a woman to a man that don't want shit? Why would I be a man to a? Why would I be a woman to a man who don't want to fucking be shit? You want me to sit there and be a woman to you because you a man? No, nigga, you stand on the corner. Why all would you even be day. dealing with you that type of person? On, though I, nobody deals with That's your choice. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> I no, cannot. Y'all not crazy? Y'all not I cannot. Hey, yo, I cannot so make you. When these I, niggas be talking, Broadway will not. Say I cannot make Broadway you be a woman. I cannot I make you not be not submissive. Be you don't have a mic. They can't hear you. I um, you. I can't make you be who I'm. T- I certainly I am. am. I am. I'm not. <laughs> Be a fucking man. Your woman is submissive to you because you're leading. You're being a good man. Trey one one two zero eight would not sit there and do nothing. If you you're doing a lot. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I. All right, 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 all right. All right, because if I look deep enough, I'm going to say your social. The fuck is you talking you about? <laughs> <laughs> right, so stop fucking volunteering oh, information. <laughs> Jesus, Mary Hatreds. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's safe to unmute, unmute her. Um, <sighs> <laughs> Jay Gray. Oh, I, I got to follow that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I gotta follow that. No pressure. <laughs> go, go for it. Go for it. Uh, 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 I mean, um, the, right. so <laughs> oh here's the thing. God. Here's the thing. <laughs> She just said a whole bunch of malarkey, right? Oh, that. Malarkey. She said a bunch right. of stuff as if, like, like she's being right, like she's being forced to deal with these men. When right. I see these men, I see these women dealing with these these, these imbecile of, of men. I'm like, why are you even? Why are, are you, you around there for? Like, like, I don't hang around. And he can't dudes. always like, be. How did he put? He how tricked did, you, right? How did he trick you into being? And and, and, not, and it don't be one time. It'd be like three or different times. Like, be, oh, they and I'm talking about now. people in my own family. Not in cult. Not and, in cult. And, 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 and check it out, D. D not check it cult. out. Brain check it out. One mic on Broadway. And D. And even if, even if you, <laughs> even if you got out of a situation with Tyrone, you end up in another situation with, with, with Tommy that's doing the same shit. You end up in another situation with Bobby who's doing the same shit. You end up, end up in another situation with Steve doing the same shit. So how many times do you you the, the the names and faces may change but the actions remain the same right. and you still end up being with the same type of dude doing the same type of shit and then you be the little girl crying wolf all right so here's the deal here's the deal yes, let me just say this like, i'm no 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 i'm not too much on my sister rule no, i have i have i'm 48 years old i have mm -hmm. one child that's 12 years old so that means i've been having good old good sex since about 11 12 years old right very protected, wow. very focused on. Very wake that ass up. Listen, very, very, very selective on, on on who and what I do, right? As a man, right? Very in control, which I have to go and hunt for mine, right? Women, yeah. women get hunted and then they allow things to happen. Like they have to open the door, let you in, wear something nice. And but all we that. don't wake up that they control sex. Right, all right, right. never mind. Right. Go so ahead. now, go if you ahead. two, they don't wake that part up. Go ahead. If, if go you ahead. two, not too much on Ruby. If you two, three, oh, and four. Different baby daddies in, and after the second one, you didn't make a a a a, 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 a clear a assessment that I'm not doing something right here because I don't want these two things to happen again. And again, don't no trigger to nobody else. But it's it's when you say that men can just walk and leave, and y'all you know y'all get stuck with it. You know the consequences already, but you still decide to do such a thing. And again. I had plenty of chances to have unprotected sex and, and, and feel so good off a of Hennessy night and just let it go. But in my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm not doing this again. I got one 12 year old, one whatever year old my son might have been. I'm going to be responsible. Yeah. Right? That's me. All men are not created equal. And, and you know, people don't have D, D, DC, they don't have dick control. Right? Yeah. And that, that it is what it is. But it's up to the woman to say, oh, you was gonna just do this without putting on a condom? Oh, I know I'm, I can't. I can't let you do that because I know which way you going. You kamikaze style. But when when is that's the accountability you be talking about, bro? Wait, because I wait, I, I can't that believe up. that dudes all, all the dudes slipping it off. Like all the dudes ain't just slipping it off. Some women are just like, all right, that's what we doing tonight. All right, we doing it, and that's what you end up with because dudes don't got no DC. Now it's their fault, but you still get stuck with it. That's the that's the part of. Are you complaining about that you knew what was going on, or did you get the re the word we won't say? And if you didn't get that, then you you got to deal with the consequences of it. Unfortunately, uh, 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 thank you, thank you for that. And I, and I have and two sisters that dealt with it. When I go to the barbershop, I see the dude that don't even see my niece no more, trying to give me a pound every every time I you know like yeah, like everything yeah. is cool. Like I don't know that he ain't been around. Like yeah. nah, I know what you did. Like I'm not co-signing that. So right. I dub him now. Now I was like, I'm not speaking to you. Don't, Check on. She just graduated from college. Though. She just got yeah. a, a bachelor's degree the other day. That's you want to be over here drinking? That's drinking crazy. in a barbershop. It's a it's a clip for you. So right. women, y'all gotta just make better decisions, and guys gotta just do the right thing. It's, it's equal opportunity. I love that. I I, I love that. I, I love that. I, I think that that's. Yeah. I, never mind. Go ahead, Lala. Yeah. Okay. There's another step that we always leave out outside of muting the mic. I just never got to that portion. <laughs> it's not only muting the mic that can happen. And I like and, and I like that energy. Keep that energy. Go ahead, Lala. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, La. Go ahead, La. Uh, Sibling uh, rivalry. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Sibling rivalry. So go, ahead, was, go ahead. I'll bring go it ahead, down. Lie. Okay. Um, I just want to thank both of you all for allowing me to be here today. Thank hey! you. Hey! <laughs> I had so much fun. Um, I have a piece of the 
tree. Thank you. You're taking a piece of the tree <laughs> with you. A piece of the tree. Um, I love you guys. We had such a great pod, and um, I can't wait to do this again. But I genuinely thank you. Thank you for the pizza. I love it. <laughs> thank you for the pizza. I love food. <laughs> Yo, thank you, I thank can't. you. Cause, cause y'all know I love food. Food is my love language. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, but no, y'all my family. I love y'all, and it was really fun. Um, I'm, I'm not going. Nope, cause y'all did. Y'all beat it. So, yep, I'm done. Okay, I okay. Jay Gray, can you go after that? Round of applause. Round of applause for our special guest today. La la la. La 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 la, wait till I get my, get my money, money right. right. <laughs> what up, Jay? Go for it, Kay. Um, shout out to everybody once again on, on the social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse, all the fun stuff. I appreciate you guys personally, you know. Um, as far as all the topics, you know, I'm gonna do a sidebar real quick because I've been this is what I've been doing lately. Shout out to my sister Melita, aka from Young Nation. She made this this sweater. Hate it, Hate with, it love. with love. Wow. You know, that pretty much sums up today all together. Hate it with love. Um, Instagram is Y-O-U-N-G dot nation, young nation. That's pretty much what, what we've been doing all day, every day. You got some people who love the love, which is like Sierra and Russ. You got certain people who's like Cardi and Offset. It's like they hate each other, but they love each other, which is also like a Krishan and a, a blue face. Yeah. Then you got, you know, like them right here at the end. It's like either way. You, you win or you lose, like, you got to find some type of equal... Um, as, playing as, ground? Yeah, equal playing ground. Or at least some type of, I agree to get... Uh, the gris- disagree. I agree to disagree and take the accountability, which was the word of the day we all said, you know, on social media and in person. You know, sometimes it works out, sometimes not. A lot of people, like I said, you meet the representative in the beginning, you mm. know, all the first three months. So, like Ru was saying, is this not what you said three months ago, nigga. Yeah. You know? There's three things they say too. You never really meet the person. I think I said this in the podcast before until so you marry them, have a kid with them, or move in with them. Once you get those three things, you figure out who's who because you know who you was dealing with before that. That's the bar. That's the you know bar. Like, like, like he was saying. That's say that again. Right say that again. You never, you never, never, you say never meet the real person or only the representative until you actually marry them, so you have a baby with them. Or you actually moving with, with, with them. Those three right there is very serious. So before you have a kid or decide to get in a relationship, you know, like now move when you move in, in you're like, oh, I didn't know she keep all, all the hair in the, in the, on, the, on the toilet or the sink, you know, all the time. I didn't know, you know, oh, she really don't cook. Like this is just like once a week cook, you know. Oh, the baby, like like you said, it was early. Like if my my mother might have had the breast milk in the refrigerator, where your mom actually had, you know, the actual breast all day. So now yeah, I got to yeah, get three yeah, in the morning before, and yeah. actually warm up the milk. Like this, certain things, like I said, we meet in representative, so you got to take accountability and just take more time and figure stuff out. Wow, wow, thank you for that, Jay. That was a bar. That was a bar. Right, right. You know, I've been writing. Um, um, <laughs> so I, I, I see what's happening too. I wanna be clear that I see what's going on. What? You know, um <laughs> mad guilty. We caught y'all. So, She's like, we caught y'all. Come we out. Caught, ca- come out. <laughs> Y'all running these ads on this platform. Y'all getting clothing. <laughs> you guys are adding endorsements. You guys are getting money behind the scenes for running y'all ads. This is about the second time you did this, too. I saw it with the, with the BX jacket you wore. I, I'm right? a fly nigga. I'm, yeah, I'm half yeah. Bronx, half Harlem. Okay. I just be liking this shit. Okay, well, I'm going to rewind the tape and get that Instagram and have a conversation with him. Um, Yo, call like Joe. This is what we doing? Um, we, we gonna keep... um, final thoughts on Broadway. Oh, man. Um, I'm not even going to go through the small talk. I'm just going to jump to the meat and potatoes. Um... Well, I feel like the Cam and Melissa was a was a was a poignant topic that we st- that we stayed on a long time. Um, I think you know as as much of the the the, the caping that we do and certain double standards that's catered and geared towards you ladies, you know, um, I just think that's the way life goes. You know, a lot of times we we try to reinvent the will, and and I, I don't really think women want equality. I don't think that's what you guys want, although that's what's said. Um, I think that you guys, I think you guys want fairness, and fair and equality is two different things. I often say you guys don't listen. 
you guys only listen to interpret. You guys don't listen to hear what's actually being said. Mm -hmm. So I think with that notion and logic, you know, the same thing rings true for fairness and equality. I think you guys are looking for fairness and you guys aren't looking for equality. You guys don't want the same thing that men want and we don't want the same thing that you guys want. Right, I think what you guys are looking for is fairness, and to that I'll, I'm a hundred percent all um, all chips in. You know, um, I'm I'm here for fairness. I think that I, I think that we as men we got to be mindful of the message and attached to slandering our sisters in public platforms. You know, because when we do that. When we do that, there's other people that's coming up behind us that's watching. Yeah. There's other people when you're having conversations with your children, you gotta I mean, when you're having conversations with your significant other, your children are watching. So there's messaging attached to some of these things, and you gotta be mindful of the children that's watching. You gotta be mindful of not saying that the audience are children, but you gotta be mindful of the platform that you have and when you're saying certain things, what comes along with that, right? I think um, I think that you know I don't like Cam in the petty, the pettiness of going too far. I'm I'm petty, but but you know when when you see certain things, two things happen: either you run towards it or you run away from it. And I think that's a great example of what we should do as men and run away from going too far with them. Now I'm not I'm not giving an excuse for Melissa's actions. I'm just saying as a man. I'm holding us accountable. Like, I'm going to need the women to hold her accountable. Y'all do that on your own time. I'm just here to talk about Cam in the matter. And I think Cam, as a man, he, should, he shouldn't have took it that far. Being petty and knowing who he is and knowing his, his rhetoric and whatnot, it still doesn't excuse his actions, in my opinion, my final thought. Um, as it pertains to you can't teach a bastard how to be a house, uh, a husband, um, <clears throat> You can't teach a bastard how to be a husband. Um, I I think that the real issue isn't the husband part. I think the real issue is the bastard part, right? I think there's too many children out here that don't have both parents in their house. You know, and children, <clears throat> children are being raised in astronomical numbers. Spell that, hello. Um, children are being spelled. <laughs> children, <laughs> children are being raised by astro in, astro in astronomical numbers in single family households, especially in our community. And it's something that needs to be fixed with that. And I think that even though sometimes it may come across as organized confusion and divisiveness. Um, that's what these type of conversations lean towards, right? The the reality of the push and pull tug of war that that we have, and I'm always here for the discourses with my sister, you know, with with, with La, with, with, with D, with, with with those um, pennies, so forth and so. On. Because if we can have these discourses here before it becomes a reality, let's do that. Because once you have a kid and enter the kid into the situation, then that becomes the worst part. Yeah. You know, um, I said earlier, and I'm going to double down on it, I don't believe that that's through and through. I do know the number is high, and I don't argue with numbers, but I do and am smart enough to know a lot of black women in my life that do their damnness to raise their children. And when you do that and you rise to that occasion, it's very important that you um, insulate them with the right type of figures that should be in their lives, right? Um, not every household is created equally. Not every person... Some, 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 you have some phenomenal women like you, La, where you're able to compartmentalize and say, I'm not going to coddle you. You're going to figure that out, right? You get some men that, 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 that are able to say and point out, you know what, this is my baby, but um, I need to pour some TLC into him because there's more men, going back to you, Rubes, right? There's more men that need to stand on business and make it okay for their children to cry and, and feel what they're feeling because they're valid, right? That's what you said. So um, I think, you know, as men, we need to rise to the occasion and not even giving pushback, 
but saying, you're right, right, Rube? There needs to be more platforms that make men stand in front of the business, right? I think that once we start to open up the floodgates and make it okay for men to stand on their business and hold men accountable, then we make it okay for women to do the same thing in their own subsections, right? Um, I'm not going to lie. I actually like this long podcast, you know, mm-hmm. and 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 I, I like it because I felt like it was it was fulfilling. It was thorough, right? It wasn't short. Sometimes we do these podcasts, and I feel like we be operating under a time restraint, and we be saying, "Well, all right, cool. Next segment, cool. Next segment." But when I listen back to it, I be feeling like there's more to that conversation that could have came out. There's more to it that 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 could have been felt, and I be. I end up having a whole another pod, my lady in the kitchen making some dope salmon. And I'm like, but babe, but what do you think about this? And she'd be like, you should have did that on the pod, right? Right? So so I do think that we need to, you know, we that might be something, you know, in, in 2024 that we might start to, to lean towards is having these thorough conversations and letting it play out, whether it's one or 100, you know, it's not about... Um, it's just about having a conversation. It's like a good book. You know, when it's value and it's there, you're going to find it. You know, and I'd much rather have us, you know, you got, you, you got Ruby that's in her late 20s, hello. You know what I'm saying? You got, you, you, you got, you got, you got D who's, who's, yeah, <laughs> it's the shade for me. But you got so much information and knowledge in this room right now that, if we share it more, right? Sometimes I'd be on podcast time, right? But it offers a value to the other side, right? So I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Shanae. Thank you, Taja. Thank you, um, my guy, David, you know, for pulling up. Shout out to Sincere. Shout out to the, the boy, um, Tommy, that joined the podcast earlier. Special, 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 special shout out to Queen Lala for joining us tonight. You know, this was dope, La. You know, it was a pleasure to have you. I couldn't let you leave and feel unfulfilled. You know what I mean? You coming up town, you coming up top, I need you to, to, to feel the vibe and be here in, in, in real time. I couldn't make this a short one. I just couldn't. You know, um, listen, Live on Broadway podcast, I think we all, I think we got it all out. Um, 2024, I'm doubling down on the content. So what you think is happening now is nothing for what's about to happen. You know, um, we, 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 we really, we really going to start creating this content and really pushing it out. A lot of dope ideas, a lot of things in the makings, in the mix. Shout out to my guy D for pulling up. Make sure you guys tap in. Wake that up. My guy on Wall Street getting busy. Um, plug the platform D, plug the platform D. I need you on that. Yeah, we on we on Broadway, 42 Broadway, Wall Street right outside, the bull is outside. You mess with the bull, you get the horns, we where uh-huh. the money's at. You know what I mean? They knocked down the we knocked down them buildings and we built them right back up. We're down there strong. So, you know. Shout out to Broadway and his platform and being on Broadway, um, you know, and twenty minutes away on a path, a quick path train, a little walk across into the little white palace and then jump on the train it feels like this was supposed to be like this my brother's next door now yeah so we from the bronx and some of us is from harlem yeah i'm not gonna hold them yeah <laughs> whatever little parts of manhattan that they want to consider for the black people in harlem right uh, right but yeah anyway yeah nah thanks for, you know the, the matrix studios is working on 24 years right now about half my life almost doing putting this work in consistently so we definitely want to we wanna we wanna not look past that and don't let these little I just was doing podcasts for six and eight year dudes mislead y'all to think they're the pod fathers and whatever, whatever is cause we out here. We outside influence. Wake that up. The youth, women, got receipts. women, you, women, got youth receipts. and kids and some men. He got receipts. I love it. I love it. And so 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 I don't know if y'all heard that, but I'm going to take my narcissistic moment to say that you can't get off Broadway. Pause, right? All right, cool. We're going to wake it up. Live on Broadway podcast. Y'all know my vibe. Y'all know my body. It's cheaper to be yourself. Boom! Love it. Clap! Do you have relationship questions you need answered? Spicy topics? DM us at Live on Broadway podcast. Have music, products, or an ad you want us to rent? Email us. Live on Broadway podcast 
Be sure to tap, 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 tap in Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live on I am underscore Broadway's Instagram. Clear. <laughs>